Hi everybody, this is really weird, isn't it? I feel really weird. <laughs> Welcome to the stream from Dan's office. Um, <laughs> as coined by chat, this is a field trip today uh, and I'm in a different room. It's because there's people coming to replace the AC today. They're not here yet. They'll, they said they're going to be here between 8 and 10, which is a long time, but it's 9, so they could be here anytime. So they're going to be in my office to get into the closet. So I can't be in there. So I'm in here and it feels weird. <laughs> um, his office is kind of cool though. I like the vibes of the lighting and stuff. So it's fun. I'm Duck Dan. Hi everyone. It's me, Dan. <laughs> Welcome to the street. <laughs> oh God, wait. His, the chat looks different. It's the subs aren't as obvious. Oh, that's not a good sign for us. I'll be fine. I'll deal with it. <laughs> Coco and, and Sid and Outlaw and, and um, Suki and Random and T-Wright and Samantha and Fishy and Lainey and Not Even Mars and ECM and Alicia and Maz and Cloudy. Thank you all for the subs. <laughs> it's like Simsy After Dark vibes. Yeah, but it's Simsy at 9 a.m. And it is dark in his office. It's because there's only one window in here. Um, and it's kind of small and not where the sun shines directly in here. So <laughs> it is a different vibe for me. It is a very different vibe for me. <laughs> My office is a lot brighter, but it's kind of fun. I look cool. I have guitars. There's one right there, too. He has two. There, there, there. Two guitars. Oh, and a ukulele. See, I'm a musician. Where's Dan today? Oh, sitting downstairs waiting for the AC person to get here so that he can let them in and talk to them. And I'm here at his desk because I have to stream and they're going to be in my office. So, <laughs> also Sunny is in here. She's sitting, Dan has a cat tree in this window and she's sitting in the cat tree. Um, I'd show you, but it's the front of the house. So I probably shouldn't because she's in the window. So, <laughs> doesn't seem safe. Is my computer there? No, no, I'm on Dan's computer. I'm, I'm streaming from Dan's room right now. Um, because uh, there's, I keep, I'm gonna have to keep saying this all day, but we're getting our air conditioner replaced today. Um, and so they they have to be in my office because the closet where like the stuff is in, oh, that's Dan's follow notification. <laughs> I don't have my own alerts. I got Dan's alert. <laughs> we'll get notified when people follow Dan today, uh, but they're going to be in my office. So, oh, person seen front door camera. Wait. Oh, no, it was a spider. Um, that's alarming. Okay, well, <laughs> the audio is different. It's more raspy. Is it? Is it the audio or is it me? I don't know. Well, anyway, we're going to play House Flipper. Um, the other problem is that I don't have, um, my save. Also, my camera's in a different place. I don't have my save. So we're going to play, uh, I freshly installed the game and I thought we could play Sandbox. Um, and like build a new sandbox house. The audio is set higher than yours, I think. You're slightly peaking. Testing. I moved it. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, anyway, Amanda and, and Feline and Cat and Salad and Mesh and Fos and we got Rock and Raspberry and Waterly. And, and little Caroline and Emma, um, thank you all for the stuff. I really appreciate that. It sounds fine to you. Okay, I'm just going to let it be because I'm not touching Dan's settings. I don't think that's a good idea. Um, I think it would be not smart of me to mess with Dan's computer. So we'll leave it <laughs> um, as to not cause a problem, right? But it'll be fine. Your stream froze. Uh-oh, yesterday, um, me and Dan's power went out, which was kind of not out, out. It like flickered, but it turned everything off um, and then came back on like, you know, 30 seconds later or whatever. Um, but it was not good and not pleasant. That doesn't happen to us in this house very often. That used to happen to us all the time at our old house because it was terrible. Something was messed up with the wiring in that place, but not here as bad. Um, but yesterday that happened. It ended Dan's stream. He was live still and then, um, he wasn't anymore. <laughs> um, because the power goes out and then like the, the Wi-Fi goes out, you know, um, because it turns off, but did they delay House Flipper on console? Oh no. I mean, that's not ideal, but at least them delaying it means that hopefully it won't be bad when it comes out, <laughs> right? Um, 
so that's a huge help. What happened to your office? Oh, I redecorated. No, I'm in I'm in Dan's office. <laughs> I'm in Dan's office. Oh, Louis, don't even talk to me about Twitter. I've made a big mistake. I got myself into a bit of a pickle. Um, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't read the replies. You can you can read my reply. Don't read the rest of the replies. Don't 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 do it. Don't engage. It's not worth it. Um Yeah, I I should have learned my lesson. I shouldn't speak on Twitter. It's not Hey, 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 thanks for following my husband Dan. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, I wanted to do a um I wanted to do a sandbox build. I don't really have a um a huge idea in mind. I think that it should be small. Oh, I read the replies too, Evelyn. I read the replies too, and I really shouldn't have, but it's okay. Um, sometimes we should just delete the app, you know? And that would probably be for the best. <laughs> um, but I was thinking about doing sort of like a cottagey vibe. I was also thinking about trying to do some sort of like craftsman house. Um, I don't really know all that well what's possible in House Flipper. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll give us like a, yeah, medium sized property and we'll try there. I don't know. We'll just test it out. So wait, last time that we played house flipper or last time we played, um, with sandbox mode in house flipper, we had a huge problem. You see, because we were playing sandbox mode and then, um, the entire thing broke <laughs> and the roofs all glitched out and like it was a complete i think i think my save is corrupted now because of this there was like an issue where there was like a ui bug where um sometimes the ui would glitch out and break is this the whole size of the lot does it start like all the way over here um okay good to know um, but yeah, there's, there's like a UI bug. So I clicked on the roof to change the size of it. And then the UI completely glitched out and I had to restart the game because the UI was completely bugged. And then when I reloaded the game, the, that house, that roof piece was corrupted. I couldn't delete it. I couldn't move it. And it broke all of the other roofs. And so the place was just completely broken. Um, so that was really bad actually. And, uh, has kind of soured my opinion of sandbox mode, but I'm willing to give it another try. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm willing to, to have a little take two with the sandbox mode today and we'll see how it goes. Um, sandbox mode, if you're not familiar with House Slipper, uh, the regular game is like buying a house and then renovating a pre-existing build. Um, and you have to like physically use all of the tools. So you'd be like physically painting the wall. Oh my, the stream is lagging so much. Uh oh. Hold on. Wait. Oh my god. It's like, it said encoding overloaded on the OBS. Hasn't lagged for you? Oh no. You think it was the game's graphics on Dan's PC? Dan has a better PC than me though. So I don't see how it would be... Like, it's not like Dan's computer can't run it. Um... My face cam was lagging. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. That's not good. <laughs> you say don't risk it 100 baby time. We can't because I don't have my save. Um, I guess if we really wanted to, we could do like a build or something in The Sims because Dan has The Sims installed. Um, so we would be able to, we would be able to do that. Um, but let me see how this goes. Let's try again. Oh. There we go. I like Dan's um, desktop background. <laughs> Lucy, Ultra, and Ty, and Brandon, and Phil, thank you. Uh, Stacy and Cookie, and Nisa, and Tiger, and Becca, and Katie, and Cowardly, and Phoenix, thank you all for the subs. I hope I didn't miss anything. Um, Flamingos, Amanda, feel like thank you so much. Um, is it just base game and pet pack he has? No, Dan has quite a few packs. We can take a detour and go look. Hold on. Um, Dan has quite a few packs, so he doesn't have the EA app pinned. What is wrong with you? There's like no Sims 4. It's different than my computer. <laughs> it's 
He is the Epic Games launcher down there and not the EA app. Ridiculous. What if he's not logged in? He is. Okay, update required. Let's try and update The Sims 4. He has 201 hours in The Sims 4. Last played October 30th, 2023. <laughs> that is a very long time ago. Well, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> the nerve. Maybe I'll pin it now. Pin a taskbar. Okay. I got it for him. Don't worry. Now he's ready. <laughs> you think I'm glowing in this lighting? Really? It is nice. Encoding overloaded again. Why is this PC doing this? It kind of scares me. Yikes. I'm still Santa Simsy on Discord? Wait, no, I'm not. Say it isn't so. No, I changed it, didn't I? No, I'm just Simsy. Oh my god, you just scared me so much. No, I'm just Simsy on Discord. Maybe yours hasn't updated or something. It says Simsy on mine. Tell me, tell me you don't see Santa Simsy. Okay, I'm opening The Sims 4. <laughs> I'm opening The Sims 4. You scared me, but I, it sounded like something that could have been true. So... All right, hold on. Let me fix this. The Sims 4. Let's see what his PC looks like. It's like a fun game. You know? <laughs> I'm going to need to get some music too if we do this. Come on, Sims 4. Wait for it. We'll see it. Your mad house slipper isn't working. We might play house slipper still. The Sims 4 might be a safer bet today, given I am not on my own PC, but... Um, remember, it's trying to get me to buy the werewolves pack. What does he have? Okay, he doesn't have horse ranch, but he has all the, a lot of other expansion packs. Interesting that he bought four rent, but not horse ranch. Um, he doesn't have wedding stories or werewolves. That's fine. He doesn't have home chef hustle, but he got crystal creations because he got given a code. Um, we don't have kids. <laughs> he has the Desert Lux kit because it was free in the first couple of kids. But that's it. Interesting. I don't know why he doesn't have Horse Ranch. You'd think he'd buy Horse Ranch. But, I get it. Yeah, I wonder what the cart button's gonna say. Let's see what his saves look like. Hold on. <laughs> Should I change my stream title? Probably. Wait, hold on. I'm exploring. Um, we'll play Sandbox soon, I promise. Um, I don't know. I'll fix the title later. We'll see how this goes. Okay, no. <laughs> okay, so let me see about making some settings change. Um, first of all, I need windowed full screen in order to function. That's problem number one. So I'm feeling a lot better already. Um, second of all, I need music. Oh, I think Dan has that thing where I'm pretty sure that the game sound won't be in the VOD because he has this like computer all set up different than me. Well, that's fine. Sims 3 soundtrack. I'm gonna ruin Dan's Spotify now with this. Get that on his Spotify wrapped. <laughs> yeah, I know I could log into my EA account on Dan's computer and then have all of my games, but I don't want to have to install all the Sims packs. Um, so that's the main issue. All right, let's see what Dan's been doing. Oh, it's because I made him make me a shell. Well, that's boring. So the only thing here is him making me a shell. <laughs> That's okay. Um, so question, should we commit to house slipper then? Because it sounds like chat is upset. Oh, he doesn't have the cart button either. Oh, he's lucky. What does that say? Buck, thank you for following Dan. <laughs> um, I, should we, should we go back to house slipper then? Music is a little loud. Oh, okay. I turned it down. 
Sims house flipper, Sims house flipper. Oh God, I'll, I'll do a poll. I'll leave it up to the people. The only thing is that I was worried about house flipper lagging on the PC because I was looking over at my own face cam and it was like really lagging. So it kind of scared me. Um, <laughs> bye, thank you for following Dan. <laughs> Um, I'll leave it up to people though. I did promise that I was gonna play House Slipper today. That was the original plan. Um, that was what we had originally said. Um, so I I don't want to uh, lie. The game wasn't lagging, but was my face lagging? It was making like the whole PC lag on my end. I guess it's good if um, you couldn't see it lagging, but it was making the whole PC lag on my end. Um, Oh, so it wasn't lagging for you. Well, that's good, I guess. Well, let me think about this. Let me look at my own stream schedule. Um, maybe we could play um, House Flipper on... Okay, I'll, I'll play House Flipper on Saturday because we had a change of plans. We'll play House Flipper on Saturday for you. How about that? I have to be in my own, um, on my phone for this. I can't access my computer, but we'll play House Flipper on Saturday. I owe you. I owe you one. <laughs> and we'll be on my PC, so we won't have any problems. <laughs> um, okay, so what do you want to build then? Should it be limited packs? Probably. I think so. I think so. <laughs> um, Jeb and Ham and... and and Cory and Bean and Drew and Oma and Bonk and Enchanted and Ampam and Lava and Evil and Lil Nora and Micah, thank you for the subs. Um, use all the packs Dan has. I guess that's true. We could just use the packs that Dan has. Um, Dan has most of the packs. He doesn't have any kits and he doesn't have Horse Ranch and he doesn't have Werewolves and Wedding Stories, but he has the rest of them. Um, so, what world do you think? Hilarious that he has Glimmerbrook. I don't. <laughs> I wonder what we had talked about doing a like a high school, but I don't know if we should start that today or not, because that's like a sixty-four by sixty-four lot. <laughs> Duck-shaped house. <gasps> what about like a little cottage that has a pond, like a duck pond? Cottage with duck pond? That could be funny. Eco lifestyle builds. I just did one of those, Dika, because my new legacy house is an eco lifestyle in Evergreen Harbor, sorry. Um I like house with duck pond. Where? Maybe in the back corner of Brindleton Bay. The music is really loud. Is it? Oh, well that's good. I can turn it down then because it was loud in my ears, but usually on my PC, I have to turn it up so much. Dan's PC is set up better than mine. Um, he doesn't have werewolves. Sigh. <laughs> there you go. You know, it's terrible. I know he doesn't have werewolves. Um, all right, let's see what we can do over here. It didn't turn down when I adjusted it before. Oh, wait, is this turning it down for you or not? Wait. Does that not change? Oh, that changes it for me, but not you. Um, this one is very quiet sound song. How about that? I did it. Yeah, I didn't change it on Spotify. Ooh, I hope I didn't ruin anything on Dan's computer because I was changing the wrong, the wrong slider then. Now it's too quiet. Oh my God, I don't know how to fix it. This is also a quieter song. So. I don't know. I also think that the VOD is going to have no music in the background because of how Dan, because Dan plays real music on stream. So um, I think the VOD is going to have no music, but we'll see. Um, okay. Well, anyway, let me change the stream title then to like um, building a duck cottage, whatever that means. Um, okay, this is the front of this lot, yes? No. 
Oh, this is the front of this lot. Okay, that's fine. Um, should make it like a real dance stream and sing. <laughs> yeah, he does a lot of uh, live performance on stream. Um, okay, well, anyway, um, let's see what we can do. Let's just begin. We're in Dan's office because my, uh, my office, well, no one's even here yet, but there's people coming to replace the air conditioning unit today. Um, and they're going to need to go into my office because the like closet with like the interior part of the AC units is in my office. Um, so they're going to have to be in there. So we're here so that I don't have men in my office when I'm trying to stream. So, <laughs> but anyway, he's not, they're not even here yet. They said they get here between eight and 10, which is a very large window. It's currently nine twelve, So they could be here anywhere. Um, okay. Anyway, let's build. Let's begin. <laughs> Victoria, Android, CJ, Gloomy, thank you for the subs. Um, well, we know we want cottage. Maybe I'm going to scoot this back too, because I don't want to look at the lighting being icky like that. Um, you like the lights in Dan's office? Yeah, it's kind of good vibe. Sunny is also in here. She's on the tree right there. Um, but it's kind of fun. Spam pond in the shape of a duck. Well, I don't really know how we would get a pond in the shape of a duck. Oh, what packs has he not clicked on? All of them? Oh my god, he doesn't even play The Sims. Somebody needs to stop this guy. Look at this. Isn't it weird being on like somebody else's computer? <laughs> Don't you just feel weird? Um, okay, let me go through and fix all of this so that they stop showing up. Whoa, look at all of this that he hasn't used. Even like good stuff, like cottage living. Just ridiculous. He did have a phase where he was really liking building in The Sims, um, but he's not in that phase right now, which is kind of rude, but it's okay. When I play on the CFE version of the game, so when they give us that, hey, thanks for following Dan. <laughs> when I play on the um, <laughs> the CFE version, when I get early access to expansion packs, um, the kind, the weird version of the game that has like the watermark and stuff, um, every time I open the game, it acts like it's new like this. So all of the items are new every single time you open it. It's really annoying. It is really, really, really annoying. It's okay though. I'll fix it for us. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, thanks for following Dan. <laughs> it's because I still have Dan's alerts on, um, but I don't really want to mess with the stream too much. So this is a, a huge quest to get Dan followers, I guess. There we go. Fix. Fix. Um, are we playing House Slipper later? We did a vote, Mars, because it was giving us some trouble. So we did a vote for what to play, and chat decided to play um, to play The Sims. So that's kind of where we're at. <laughs> a full Amber, Paladin, and Shannon, and Victoria, and everybody, thank you for the subs. Okay, small cottage. Um, I don't really know what kind of cottage I'm going for. But we'll see. At least we aren't hearing quacking right now. Oh, I hear quacking. Do you not hear the quacking? I don't know how to fix Dan's music and stuff. I don't really know what's going on with his computer. I don't know how to I mess with the audio, so I'm just not going to touch it. I won't I won't bother. You don't hear quacking? Well, consider yourself lucky then. You're a winner. Um, okay. Here's my vision. It involves dormers. Let's see how this goes. Oh, don't remove the ceiling. Whoops, sorry. Um, <laughs> we may have to remove the alerts. <laughs> we might have to get rid of the alerts today. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> This may end up being a little bit much for me to handle. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we shall see. Um, okay. You want to hear the quacking? I don't know how to make it so you can hear it on Dan's computer, and I'm too scared to mess with it and make it worse. 
<laughs> I'm too scared to like mess up his settings, you know? Um, so I don't want to. <laughs> what if we decorate the house with rubber ducks? Oh, that's quite an idea that you have. Wow. <laughs> Let's click all the buttons. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure it's totally fine. No, I would just, I would feel so bad if I like sat here messing with um, all of Dan's settings. And then when he came back to his PC tomorrow, like all of his settings were messed up and he has to go back and fix it all without knowing what I changed, you know? <laughs> so that's why I don't want to mess with his stuff because I just don't want to like ruin it for him before he has to stream tomorrow. <laughs> I think that would be not good. So, <laughs> um, so it's just the alerts, Allie. Um, it's because I'm on Dan's computer, so he has the alerts set up to his, to his stream. Um, so people are following him because I'm talking about it. Um, and the alerts on his computer are his Twitch. Um, I didn't like change them to mine, so I could have, <laughs> but I didn't. <laughs> I don't want to ruin his stuff again. I don't want to mess with it. I could just turn this off. I can turn off his follow alert. Um, so we don't have to see it anymore. But it's kind of funny, so. Um, it would be fun for me if you did. <laughs> Dan's mods are in the chat, like, mess up his stream, mess up his stream. <laughs> Just change stuff, it's fine. <laughs> bad influence, bad influence. Um, okay. Everything okay with your computer? Oh yeah, my computer's fine. Um, it's that uh, there's gonna be a person coming to replace our air conditioning unit today. Um, and they're gonna be in my office for that. Because the AC unit is in my office. Um, or not the AC unit, but like the closet with like the stuff is inside of my office. So they're going to need to be in my office later today um, to fix it. And I would prefer to not have to be around them when they do that. <laughs> I'm not going to be trying to stream in that room when the man comes into the office. You know, that would be unpleasant to say the least. Um, so I won't be there. I'll be here instead you know um should i try and put like i don't know how to do this i've made kind of a weird shape i guess i could just put like some sort oh my god it's still quacking but i turned the alert off i can just still hear it i guess you can't hear the quacking so it's fine <laughs> mary and tom leah huffle amber thank you for the sub um you think it looks good with the chimney yeah should i do like a a regular chimney instead that might be better. Oh, that's what's weird. I usually play with his the UI bigger than this. Try that. Okay. That makes sense now. <laughs> that makes sense. I prefer that. There we go. Problem solved. <laughs> Problem solved. Okay. And we got these all nice. Problem is, they're very close together, so I might have them have, like, no overhang. I don't know if that's ugly or not, but we can make it look good. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, Archer, curious, Sammy, thank you for the sub. Um, you think the game resolution is weird? Oh, do you think so? Um, or do, because of what I just changed, or what? Um, it should be fine. I think we are okay. Um, it says that I'm live on Dan's channel. Oh, does it? Oh, is it because he's like hosting me? Is that what you mean? Person seen driveway? No, not them. <laughs> I keep, I'm nervous about them coming. I keep getting scared that the AC people are gonna get here. Um, wait, why is that doing that? Oh my God, are you serious? Okay, that's gonna be glitch. So that's a huge problem. I guess we'll see how that goes then. Uh oh. Um, I'm thinking that on this part of the house, I'd like to put like a roof like this. I don't know, I think that could be good. Sims 3 music is a vibe. I know, I think so too. I love the Sims 3 soundtrack. I think it's so good. Um, okay, that is, it could be cute. 
It could be cute. It's gonna be fine. Um... You have a strange man replacing a window in your apartment? Do you really? I'm so sorry. That's so unpleasant. It is it is very horrible to have, like, people working in the house. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to fix that, but I'll, I'll put it back. I'm thinking about trying to put, like, a... We might be able to hide some sort of bigger area upstairs. Oh, I don't really like that for the back, though. Never mind. Well, we can have an attic space at least. We can have an attic space. It's fine. I'm building a lot slower than normal because I like don't have my mouse and stuff, you know? Um. Uh, feels weird. <laughs> feels weird. Skeleton in the attic. Oh, that's good. I like that. I like the vibes. Good call. Um... I don't know if I like that, but we'll see. We'll see. Half wall chimney. It, the walls were like looking weird, Dika. So I was trying to do, um, I was trying to use like the default stuff. I'm also building this way back on the lot because I wanted to have the lighting not be weird on it, but. Um, okay, so in the back of the house, perhaps we get like a, I don't know. I think I made my UI too big. Sorry, everybody. I'm still trying to get my stuff prepared. Maybe like there. Did everyone turn in their permission slips for this field trip? <laughs> Good question. Uh, chat, have you all got your permission slips in so that we can head out on the field trip? Do we have any uh, chaperones? You know, the chaperone is Dan's mod here. <laughs> Who's here right now? That's so funny. <laughs> um, okay, so let me grab this piece of the roof. I'll fix that here. I'll put it like... Kinda... Oh, oops. Kinda like that too. Maybe smaller than that, I don't know. Um, well, it did it again. Is it gonna keep doing that to my chimney? Shadow, thank you for the sub gift. I appreciate that. I'm actually so jealous. I keep looking over there because Sunny is asleep on the tree in the window. And I keep looking over there because I'm so jealous of Dan that Sunny, like, sleeps in here in his office while he's streaming. Because she prefers this cat tree, I think. And this one, I mean, it is a better view. It's, like, the front of the house instead of the side of the house. So I get it. Um, but I'm so mad. <laughs> She's in here hanging out, but she doesn't sleep in my office. Um... Oh, I don't like that, actually. No, he doesn't have a cat cam over there. Again, she's in the window in, like, the front of the house. So we can't really show out the window. Because um, then, you know. Okay, are we going to do, like, probably not a thatched roof, right? Um, but we can't show out the front window. That's not a good idea, right? So, um, you know how I can fix this? Silly me. That solves that problem. So the roof isn't as big of an issue anymore. Um, it is a weird shaped roof. <sighs> okay. How are you doing with strangers in your house? There's not currently any strangers in my house. They haven't gotten here yet. So we don't have any strangers here yet to worry about. So that's lucky, I guess. Um, color scheme wise? I kind of like the, like, reddish color. I guess yellow would be good, too. So we could do our own windows and do... Wait, no! <laughs> I was just going to say, we could do our own windows and then use the horse ranch shutters. One of the only packs that he doesn't have is horse ranch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we can't do that. We can't do that then. So that sucks. Um, go buy Dan Horse Ranch. <laughs> I open the EA app and I buy it right now. He doesn't have the shopping cart in game like I do. So we can't test it. Hold on. <laughs> I can use code Lil Simsy at checkout. Wait. 
horseranch. $24.79. It's on sale. Oops. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> okay, whoa. <laughs> I didn't know we had display capture on. Does this usually show up when you're doing this? All right, promo code Lil Simsy. Apply. Okay. Pay with PayPal. Oh my god. He's not logged in. It's okay. It's okay. I can lose my own. <sighs> so rude. All right, let me get my verification code. Hold on. Here we go. <laughs> okay, this is what a fun detour. Also, I can have shutters. You used promo code Lil Simsy two days ago, did you? Windows security. Windows firewall has blocked some features of EA. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, wow. <laughs> Goblin, Haley, Jaden, thank you for the resub. Well. Wouldn't it be cheaper to log out of Dan's EA account and log into yours? Yeah, it would be, but Dan's going to probably want to buy this pack eventually anyway. And it's a funny joke, so... Um, that would be why we are doing this. <laughs> and I don't want to wait for everything to install. He's missing a lot of packs. Um, so. It is installing. Here we go. IRL shutters are way more expensive. That's true. These shutters are $24.79. But I'm getting 5% of that back through the EA Creator Code program. Technically. Eventually. <laughs> Yeah, Dan plays guitar. Dan has two guitars and a ukulele. It makes me look quite musical um, now that I'm in here. But it is Dan's, not mine. So, here we go. <laughs> so it's basically free. Yeah, I mean, yeah, kind of. You also have a ukulele, but somehow it's more difficult than guitar. Do you think so, Dika? I'm not a, I'm not musical. I can't play any instruments. I'm terrible. Um, Dan can. Dan's basically a music streamer when he streams on his own channel. Um, he sits there and uh, he, oh, look, welcome to Horse Ranch. Um, he sings. Oh, it also um, got the Street Eats digital content in for rent. I think that he had for rent, but it just hadn't installed. And then it installed when I reloaded the game. Um, Cause it didn't show for rent as not being owned and I didn't buy it. So I think he had it, but he just hadn't, um, he just hadn't paid for it. Um, or hadn't installed it, sorry. Um, Lego shop. Oh my God, sorry. I checked my email. Shipping confirmed of one of my Animal Crossing Legos. That's exciting. <laughs> Shan, thanks for the tier three, 47 months. And Lulu and Ross, thank you for the resub too. All right. Let's go to Hanford on Bagley, please. No, sorry, not Hanford on Bagley. Brindleton Bay, I'm lost. I'm lost, there we go. Um, your wedding is in two and a half weeks? Oh, very exciting. That's very, very, very exciting. Um, did you get a new Lego set too? Oh, really? That's fun. And your freezer bunny plush came yesterday? Also very fun. Okay, well now I have the windows that I want, so that's good. Um, all of this. Just so I could use, I'm going to use like regular base game windows, but then I'm going to put the horse ranch shutters on them. So it will embrace our duck theme. That is the vibe. Look. Okay, that window's bad. Wait. Okay. We're going to great lengths to make this possible. <laughs> <laughs> a whole pack for just one thing. I know it sounds bad, but again, Dan would have probably bought this pack eventually. If anything, you guys, I bought it on sale. I saved us money. Hello? Which one? Oh, Trippy! Come here, little man. Are they here? Oh. Why are you being so quiet? Because I want to show you the thing. I bought you horse ranch. 
Yeah, maybe you could start editing the video on my computer. Oh no, you ha you already started editing it here. Never mind. I'm getting quite anxious that they're not here yet. You texted him? Yeah. Oh boy. Okay, bye. Tricky! Come here, buddy! The people want to see you! Come here, little man! Oh my god, when did you get so big? Hold on. Sorry, everybody, I got him. Trippy! Look how giant this thing is. When did this happen to you? Look right there. You want to look at the camera? No. You could go sit on the tree with your sister. You might like it. <laughs> now we have two. <laughs> Are you holding a black hole? Yeah, they they grew so fast, and he's just a big giant void cat now. I don't know how this happened. All of a sudden, he became enormous. Um. Okay, let's see. I want to get the music kind of loud. Is it? It sounds quiet to me, but I can't hear what you're hearing that easily. So, um, guys, the installers are on their way. Oh my god. When they come- so they have to- the thermostat is right outside of this door. So when they have to replace that, which I don't think will happen first, it'll probably be at the end of the stream. Or like, at the end of them being here, which they said they're gonna be here all day. Um, so we should be okay. But they're gonna hear me talking to myself. So that's bad. It's loud, but you were vibing. Oh, I can turn it down a tiny bit. I should have asked Dan while he was here how I'd turn his music down for them, but not me. Um, but I don't know. If Shrimp, like, climbs around in the background, you won't even see him. It's so dark back there that you wouldn't even know. <laughs> you wouldn't even realize that he's there if he starts messing around and climbing around back there. <laughs> not talking to yourself, talking to your besties. That's true. That's true. The thing is, if you overhear this conversation as an outsider who isn't aware that I am streaming, it really sounds like I'm, like, dominating the conversation, you know? It's like that girl is not giving the other person a single bit of room to speak. <laughs> she is just going on and on, and nobody else has had a single chance to cut in. <laughs> this girl is not an active listener. She just talks and talks and talks and talks. And about weird things. <laughs> Scotty and Clint, thank you for the resubs, both of you, by the way. <laughs> okay. Um, let me fix this part, too. And then... Hi, Shrimpy. Oh, I'm so jealous that they're hanging out in here. I know that I'm in here, so I shouldn't be jealous, because, like, I'm participating, but... You know... <laughs> Annika, thank you for the gifted subs. I really appreciate it. Okay. This is gonna be cute. Mark my words. And it's gonna have a little pond and everything. It's just gonna take me a while to get there. Okay. Very nice. <laughs> Your legacy heir is a loves the outdoors green technician. Uh, what house should you build her? Oh, they live in Copperdale? Good question. Lots of options. Um, are you gonna try and use, like, the eco-lifestyle stuff then? Are your cats also afraid of strangers? Yeah, they're not gonna be too pleased when they, um, encounter the, uh, air conditioning men. But I think the bonus of them being in here right now is that they are upstairs in this room. And the people are going to be outside a lot of the time, I think, when they first get here, especially. Um, so we should be okay, because the cats probably won't have to hear them. And they're, like, hidden and the door's closed, so they should be alright. And then we can always move them together. Oh, Snap doesn't care. Get this. When the AC guy was here on Sunday, or Monday, whenever, Monday, I think, when the AC guy was here on Monday, you would have thought that, like, someone tried to kill these two, based on how they were acting, the kittens. Snap, she was sitting right next to the guy. She, he was, like, at the counter going over the options and, like, the quote and stuff. And Snap was like, she went and ate her food, she went and sat on the couch, she looked at him, walked away. She didn't care. She didn't care at all. <laughs> but the kittens, they were hiding in the blankets on my bed. Like, they went and buried themselves in the bed, in the blankets. 
just because they heard his voice. And and Snap just couldn't couldn't care less. So could she hear that he was there? <laughs> well, she didn't hear him speak. I guess that's true. But she could see him. She just didn't care. Um, yeah, she's a she's a weird one. Sometimes she gets scared, but not of him. So can you see that? It's he's speaking of cat in the blanket. He's. In he was in the blanket there. <laughs> Trippy, what are you doing? He climbed up the side of the chair and then went in the blanket. <laughs> you were wondering what that was? It's like all of a sudden the chair is moving. <laughs> no, that's shrimp. Sorry, everybody. To have alarmed you. Now he's here. <gasps> oh, no. Oh my god, I hear them. Can I look out the window? Hold on. I want to see their- I want to see their truck. I'll come back. I'll just be right here. Hold on. Can you see that? They're here. Oh, hi, Kevin. Come here, buddy. Oh my gosh. Oh, sorry, Shrimpy. I didn't mean to- I hit my knee on the desk. They're here, officially. Don't get caught snooping. I know, I'm like staring outside of the window in the front of the house. Shrimpy, do you want to help me build? I love this little creature. He's my best friend. My absolute best friend. Okay. Let me put my headphones back on and then we can game again. Sorry. Your void was extremely brave as a kitten, but now he hides when someone new comes over. Oh, really? It makes me so sad when they are scared. It like, it makes me feel so guilty that I was the one who like, you know, I invited these strange people into the house. I, I have subjected you to this fear. It makes me feel so guilty. I love cottage living. Should I just use the cottage living fence? It's just too cute. It's one of my favorite ones in the whole game. Okay. Sunny watching from the corner like, I thought I was your best friend. And then Snap downstairs like, I thought I was your best friend. The bonus is that um, Snap can't hear me say that. She doesn't know what I just said. You know? Because <laughs> she can't hear anything. <laughs> so it's a, a, a win. <laughs> Snap knows I'm her best friend, though. I think that um, Shrimpy likes me better than he likes Dan. And I think that Sunny likes Dan better than she likes me. Is sort of my... Uh... Not that she doesn't like me. She likes me. But I think that, like, Sunny prefers Dan and Shrimp prefers me is kind of uh what i've noticed on from them when did snappy go deaf oh it's she, she never went like outright deaf and it wasn't like overnight um but snap has been losing her hearing for a while um it's kind of been a a long time coming she's her hearing is getting worse and worse she's quite old now so um it's not really that much of a surprise i guess but yeah her Hearing's been getting worse and worse. She does hear some things, like she'll hear really loud and high-pitched things, but um, average speaking, sounds of footsteps, sound of the door opening, um, she doesn't uh, really notice. She's uh, almost 16, which isn't, I guess, the oldest, but um, yes, yeah, her hearing's been going, so. Um, hi, Christine, the field trip is going really well. Um, the life update is that the AC people just got here. So it's happening. It's happening. <laughs> Your 19-year-old chihuahua was deaf to everything but the cheese wrapper. That makes sense to me. <laughs> I think that there's a, a little bit of, with the, with the cat specifically, I think there's like a little bit of choice in it. She's got some selective hearing going on. Um, but I know that her... I know for a fact that she's not hearing as well because she is like completely clueless. Her, I keep telling people that her spidey senses are gone, but like literally you could walk up this close to her, behind her, she will not know you are there. Like she doesn't, oh my God. Hello? They're here. Yeah, I know. They're here, but I'm trying to find Snap. Oh, is she in there? No, that door's closed. Oh. I was just wondering if I came up here 
both doors are closed in there? Yeah, that door's closed. I don't know why that door's closed. I don't oh. know why, but I don't know why that door's closed. Do you go to the bed? Maybe. How's it going? Um, I'm playing Sims, because House Slipper wasn't working. It wasn't working? Well, it started, like, your PC said encoding overloaded, so I got scared. My PC's been doing that recently, whenever I play a game. Oh, it's been doing it the whole time. Shrimpy, you don't want to go out there. Not yet, Shrimp. When I do say Jenny, the whole you. <laughs> um, the people want you to say hi. I can't come in. Jenny will upstairs. He can't come in because Shrimp's right at the door, and Shrimp doesn't want to go out there. Shrimp has to be in here because the AC guys are here. Um, I'm here now. Hello. But... Yeah, my PC's been struggling recently. When I played Dead by Daylight, I had to turn it down all to the lowest setting. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. They were saying that it didn't look like it was lagging on their end. Yes. But it, it's, what, it lags for me. Yeah. 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 And it's like, I don't want to play when my OBS looks like it's miserable. Yeah. Well, you might be okay to put the settings back up. I wonder why your PC's been having issues then. It all happened. Off, I don't know. Not I bought happened. you Horse Ranch because you didn't have the shutters that I wanted to use. You should just buy all the packs. I'm not buying you all those random kits. You're never oh. going to use them. Shrimp's on the desk now. Oh, hi, baby. Hello. Right. I'm gonna go look for snacks. <laughs> Thank you, Shrimp. <laughs> um, okay, let me see. Shrimp wants to be a star. Yeah, he's really cute. He's very affectionate. He's very affectionate. Um, like that, like you just saw. Um, I don't like that. Do we do like the horse ranch? Stone on the base, maybe. Yeah, I think they're probably excited that I'm hanging out in here. I think they're probably like, she's never in this room. Why is she in here? <laughs> I think they're probably like, this is cool. Um, okay. Oh god, now he's on the desk behind the monitor, so that's not good. I'm sure I'll be fine. Um Sims 3 music is so nostalgic. I'm glad you think so. I love the Sims 3 soundtrack. It's so fun. Oh, you be careful with that, buddy. Oh, my. Oh, these are like... They need to be... A little bit higher up, I guess. Maybe I'll put them up just two. Or three. We could do them up three. Um... One, two, three. Thank you. One, two, three. There we go. That seems all right from the outside, right? I think so. Sorry I'm building so slow, everybody. I'm really distracted today. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> I am not doing well. Okay. Get some windows over here. I'll get some windows over here. I'll take my little shutters again. The window is wrong. Oh, that's... Because there's two of them. Oh, what on earth? Weird how that chose to place. You got a different window. I got a different window? No, I didn't. I've been using that same one everywhere. Maybe because there was two of them. Does that confuse people? Yeah, I don't know why it's placing on the wrong floor, but... It isn't that big of a deal to me. I'm not that worried about it. Okay. Um, so we have that all set up. I'll probably get myself some columns in here. We're in Dan's office because there's uh, people here to replace our air conditioning unit. And they have to go into my office to like access the closet in there. Um, and so I, I can't stream because they're going to be in there. Um, and I really, 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 really don't want to stream with them in the same room as me. <laughs> There's absolutely no way I could do that. So I'm here instead. I am here instead. Um, okay. Very good. Very cute. Very nice. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to having a new air conditioning unit, to be honest. I think that's going to be kind of cool. Um, literally, <laughs> it's gonna be kind of cool. 
because <laughs> um, it's going to be cooler. But uh, I'm looking forward to the new one. I think it's it'll be nice to have um, like something new. It's going to be more efficient. Um, it won't be broken. <laughs> We're getting a new thermostat because it comes with one. Um, so that's good. They're also giving us a Visa gift card with the purchase because there's like a promotion on with the um, the company. Here's my thought process on this, right? I think that's stupid. I would rather you just discount the cost of the stupid thing. But no, you give me a Visa gift card. But like, instead of putting it on sale, they say, oh, here's a Visa gift card. Just give me a discount. Like, I don't want this. <laughs> I mean, I, I want it. Sorry. To be clear, I'll take it. <laughs> but I would rather, <laughs> I would rather it be a discount. <laughs> Uh, but whatever. Kind of weird that they do that, I guess, but it's fine. <laughs> I know, I shouldn't say it's stupid. I'm like, they're they're in the house somewhere. <laughs> Shh. Don't talk about it like that, Kayla. Um, okay. Cute. Um, can you use the gift card to help pay for it? No. It's like a rebate where, like, you pay for it and they, they send you money afterward. It's kind of like that. Um, which is rude, but whatever. Sorry, I'll stop talking about it. They could be here anywhere. Where did shrimp go? Okay. Sorry, as long as it's not behind the computer. Um, this is Brindleton Bay that we're in right now. This, uh, this location. I think, I'm not going to actually put anything up there, but it's good to have just for now. And that's most of the layout ready. Let me think about the actual interior. It's always shit like a cake, isn't it? All my builds are. I guess I could potentially put like a, another bump out, but we'll see. Let me do floor plan first. So you're going to enter into the house from over here. I kind of like the idea of there being like a separate closed off entryway. Um, maybe that could be the primary bedroom and they have a bathroom over there. And then potentially, maybe I close it more or less, I guess, whatever. There could be like a, a bedroom there. Um, this becomes like an open living room potentially something like that and then I'm gonna want to put probably a couple bedrooms over there I'm thinking that I want most of the living space to be like in the front of the house like we could have like living room kitchen dining stuff kind of over there I think also I want to have like we'll make a little custom archway get in there perhaps this becomes a dining room kind of right in the entrance I can see that happening I think that makes sense I'm not going to use that rug but I'll just put it there as like a filler so there'd be like a dining table right there we could have perhaps like an open archway again kind of like this into where we'll have the living room and the kitchen. Maybe. Um, oh, thanks, Little. It's good to see you. Uh, also, Sheriff and Megan and Chloe and Lauren and Butlers and Em and Emma and Jesse and Eerie and Queen of Moons and Geek Squad. Thank you for all the subs, everybody. Um, okay, Brew. <laughs> Calm down. Okay, we've got a door into the bedroom. I guess there being a door into the bedroom right there is kind of annoying. That could always be an office or something instead. If we wanted to have there be like... Oh, we could make the bathroom bigger that way. Maybe that's an office. Oh, wait. Then this becomes a bedroom, I guess. Potentially. And then... Or that's the kids' bedroom. This is the office. Oh, this is the primary bedroom. And then we have the living room and the kitchen in here. This is a little bit bigger than I really 
wanted it to be. Maybe, hold on. I'm going to give myself a little bit more space. I think that what I want to do here is have that be an extra bedroom. I've decided. So the living room goes here. The kitchen will go like along this wall and then we have an extra bedroom. So it's a three bedroom, one bathroom house. Do you see the vision? Let me put the furniture in so you can picture it better. Like bedrooms there. Kitchen would go like here. Oh, you know what we could use is the new, the horse ranch counters. Oh, maybe not. Never mind. <laughs> I'll use the cottage living ones. How about that? Because they come in yellow. Good. <laughs> That's good. We can make that work. Um, should you get cottage living? You love animals, but you don't know. I, I really, really like cottage living. I am a massive fan of cottage living. So I, I would suggest yes, but um, only one bathroom. Well, it's only three bedrooms. I don't think that only one bathroom is even that small, to be honest. Um, I don't really think that's all that bad. You know? Um, okay. How about... I do love that flooring. That's good vibes. You grew up in a three bed, one bath home? Yeah, um, same. Oh God, does, our dance, is the CC not working? Oh no, I can't fix that on Dan's computer very easily because I don't even know what um, plugin he has. Ooh, if the CC isn't working, I'm so sorry. I turned the closed caption tag off on Twitch. Um, I can't, I don't know how to fix that from Dan's computer very easily while I'm live without having to like reinstall something. I don't know what one he normally has. Um, or if maybe he didn't like reinstall the plugin. Oh, we get to reinstall OBS. Maybe that's why he doesn't have the plugin right now because he just have to reinstall OBS. Yeah, I don't know if I can fix that right now very easily. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, that's very frustrating. I normally um, really uh, want to have the CC on my stream, but um, you're on Dan's computer. Yeah, because the the AC guys are gonna be in my office, bro. I can't be in there. <laughs> They're gonna be in there, <laughs> so I can't go in. <laughs> I have to be in here so I can hide from them. <laughs> I'm being so dead serious about that. <laughs> no, not custom content. Closed captions. Closed captions, sorry. Um, I think... Um, maybe... Oh, I want something kind of... Cottagey for the rug. I'm going to use this in the kids' room because I love that rug. Um, fireplace and dining and or living room. I'm thinking I might put it in the living room. I might put a fireplace like on this big wall. I might also use a smaller rug than this, but we'll see. Or I could size it down. I don't know. Um, how are the kitties doing? They're all right. Trip is in here somewhere and Sunny's on the tree. Um, so they're both in here with me. No, I don't have all the packs right now because I'm on uh, Dan's computer. So I don't have, he doesn't have all the packs and I didn't like log into mine and install them or anything. I wasn't planning on playing Sims on stream today. <laughs> um, we were going to play, uh, we were going to play um, House Flipper, but then we were having some trouble. So I did a little switcheroo, if you will. Um, cottage living. Can we experiment with a more closed off floor plan? Yeah, Kat, I do that a lot um, in houses like this. I think it might be kind of fun to have it be a little bit more open. Just this time around. I don't know. Just as like an idea. Oh, I might use that in the bedroom. I want to use the one from Growing Together. Because this rug is one of my favorites. Be kind of... Yeah, that's yellow. That's good. Something like that combo? I don't know. Dan has Patu. I don't know why he has that one. Look, he has quite a few packs. We just bought him Horse Ranch. Um, he's only missing Wedding Stories and Werewolves. 
He has uh, all the stuff packed except for Home Chef Hustle. He does own Crystal Creations, but he hasn't installed it yet. Um, and he barely has any of the kits. He's got like the first couple kits, and then um, Desert Lux because it was free. But um, let me see about picking a cute table. I do like this one. I think that one's nice. That's so real. Yeah. <laughs> I understand. I understand where he's coming from with that, actually. <laughs> Do you think having, like, the yellow chairs is too much? I kind of actually like it, though. He's a nerd boy, right? But do it make sense? No, Dan's not a Star Wars type of nerd boy, though. Dan actually hates Star Wars. He has, like, really strong uh, negative feelings about Star Wars, and he doesn't, um, he's not even seen it. He's seen, like, the first one, and that's it. He is a nerd boy. Look at this. Wait. He's a giant Lord of the Rings poster. Like, an absolutely ginormous one. Okay. Um... What's that? Oh, I think he has like a little thingy on his stream that says I'm playing The Sims 3 soundtrack. Look, there's like the album cover down there in the bottom left corner. That's cool. I don't know how to stop that. Your husband showed you Lord of the Rings last year and you've been obsessed since? Yeah, Dan is a huge Lord of the Rings fan. Um, has been for a long time. Um... I do like that one. I don't like the black frame, though. I wonder if I could try and get, like, a custom frame of some sort instead. Hold on. This is a real stretch, okay? What I'm doing right now. But just imagine for a second that I, like, oh my god, I have to get rid of all the walls, probably. This isn't worth it. This is so not worth it. <laughs> you never seen Lord of the Rings? Is it good? Um, Lord of the Rings is uh, famously one of a lot of people's uh, favorite. I don't like this. Never mind. Ignore what I'm doing. It's like a it's a classic, I guess you could say. So, um, I think you would like it. It's long, but that's kind of fun to have a lot of content about a thing that you like. So, um. You only managed to read Lord of the Rings a couple years ago. It took you more than a year. Yeah, I haven't read it. A lot of people, I think, have that experience. I, um, I will get to it at some point. I think Dan needs to read it because he's a massive fan, not me. But, um, Dan has also not read Lord of the Rings. <laughs> he has also not read it, so. <laughs> um, I think the Tiny Sims 3 logo in the corner is the album cover. We can test it real quick with something else. Wait, look at this. Yeah, he puts the album cover on his stream. Because he plays, um, like, when he puts music on his stream, he'll play, like, oh. Now it's doing a different Sims 3 logo, because it's a different part of the Sims 3. Look, look, look. Now we're in late night. See, that's kind of cool. Um... Yeah, I think that it's fun that he does that. I, I guess... How does he do that? Music. Where is it? Oh, it's a window capture of Spotify is all. He's just ca capturing the, the logo. Um, yeah, if you go full cam, he has the song name too. Which is kind of fun. Um, wow, maybe I should learn a thing or two from Dan. <laughs> maybe I, maybe I could, uh, take some of his ideas. <laughs> um, scoot that over more, maybe, so it's, like, more free space? Or, no, it's better before. Put it back. Sorry. Um, anyone thinking about Lord of the Rings, listen to the audiobooks read by Andy Serkis. Oh, that's cool! That's a good idea. You know what, Tilly? I'm probably going to tell Dan to do that. 
Um, cause he might actually really like to do that while, cause he like, um, half of the time that he spends editing, uh, my videos is like silently cutting down. Like he'll go through and he like just looks at the big timeline and cuts out all of the silent spots and then goes back and watches it. Um, and like cuts more as he's watching it, but he cuts like the big silent chunks out first. Um, so a lot of like the editing process is like silently cutting down the video. Um, so he likes to like put on a TV show or something in the background while he does it. But an audiobook would be like fun for him and he would love that. Um, let me, maybe I'll tell him now so I don't forget. Um, one sec. I'm, I'm doing it. Sorry for texting. I can't, if I message him on Discord from the PC, then I would be messaging me as him. Because <laughs> I'm logged into his Discord. <laughs> the audiobooks are long. Yeah, it'll be like, probably like, you know, Tilly says 24 hours each or something. Yeah. Not surprised by that. Um, okay, I wanted to get, he has the country kitchen kit, right? Yeah, because he has the first kits. I wanted to use this as like a shelf in the entryway. That's cool, right? I think so. It was trippy to see you typing as you, but Dan earlier. Yeah, I typed in the mods chat as, as I was typing, but I was on Dan's account. <laughs> I do that sometimes. Um, Cause I like, there's been times, oftentimes when we travel, I guess, for example, um, he'll bring his laptop, but I won't bring my laptop cause we don't need to. Um, and so, uh, I'll like have to deal with like a mod thing in the discord, but I'll be like on his laptop cause it's easier <laughs> than doing it on mobile. <laughs> and then I'm, I'm like typing, but it's me and it's, it's Dan. It's yeah. Yeah. In fact, Dan doesn't often type in my discord. Most times when Dan types in my discord, it's me. Not Dan. I will be the one typing. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, Lily and Pink and, and uh, Lala and Cecilia and Lady, thank you for the sub. Um, Simsy as Dan, an imposter among us. Yeah, that's me. An imposter. I don't know if I like this curtain color. Should it be lighter? Maybe the white ones are better. Dan joins in when we goss. Yeah, maybe that's it, Brew. I guess I only type in Dan's Discord. Uh, sometimes when there's like a massive mod crisis in my server, I'll go into Dan's server and be like, hey guys, like in his mods chat, I'll be like, hey guys, uh, this person is literally doxing me. <laughs> Just a warning, you know? Otherwise, I only type in Dan's server when um, Drag Race is on because him and Tony talk in general. Chat, it's literally only him and Tony. Nobody else talks about Drag Race in general chat except for him and one other person. But I'll go type in there sometimes too about Drag Race um, on Friday nights. So I will join next time. See, Hope, exactly. You might like it. <laughs> but nobody else talks, just Dan and Tony and sometimes me. And usually it's just me saying I'm heartbroken um, over and over again. So, might be better, you know? Yeah, exactly. We can consolidate the conversations. Exactly, Hope. It's better this way. You're right. You're so right. Um, okay, so... Maybe I will use the fancy stuff from the country kitchen kit in this house. No, not Shella's husband, Tony. A, a different Tony. There's a streamer called Trainwreck Tony. Um, <laughs> not Shella's husband, Tony. Trainwreck Tony. <laughs> Tony is in the Trainwreck one. It's the Tony that we're talking about. <laughs> when you say it like that, it sounds really mean, but that's his username. <laughs> I don't mean it in a bad way. <laughs> okay. Um... That's good, right? Maybe a sink over here. I don't want to use the sink that comes with horse ranch. Or no, wait, I'm using cottage living. Actually, this one's fine, probably. When I said horse ranch, what I actually meant was the, meant was the sink that comes with um, the country kitchen kit because I didn't want to use the country kitchen kit one. 
I'm okay with these. Oh, I hate how there's not like gold accents on it though. It's okay. Um, maybe put this over here. I don't know. Limited pack builds? Um, not that much of a limited pack build. <laughs> I guess we could call it like a slightly limited pack build, but Dan has a lot of packs. Um, so it's not like limited, limited, you know? Oh, I don't really like how that looks. Can't decide. <sighs> Sam Blundy X, thank you for the subs. Maybe it's these ones that are the problem. Maybe I should try something different for the stove. We do have the ones that come with Cottage Living. So we could always try that potentially. Just have to raise it up. And that's one less pack, right? Do I have any mods? Oh, no, not on this computer. I only use a couple mods when I normally play The Sims, but on Dan's computer, we are modless. <laughs> uh, we, we have zero mods installed right now at this current moment in time. <laughs> um, Dan does not have any. Um, and he also doesn't have all the packs. I have all the packs, but I'm playing on... This is a weird... If this is your first stream, it's a weird time. I'm sorry. I'm in my husband's office because there's a... There's like people here. I gotta talk quieter. There's people here working on the air conditioning unit and they have to go into my office to like get into the closet to access it. And so I can't stream on my computer because they're in there. So I'm on his computer instead. <laughs> so I, he doesn't have all the packs ready. Because <laughs> there's people in my office. But I speak quiet because I don't know if they're upstairs or not. He has a lot of packs. Not all of them. Mostly he's missing kits. So... Um, okay. I like the kitchen vibes. It's very yellow. More yellow than I really meant for it to be. But how dare those men fix your AC while well, you should be streaming. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't, don't be mad. We like them. They're helping us. Oh, he doesn't have Home Chef Hustle. I want it. God. Worst pack to be missing, Dan. Worst pack to be missing. When I say that this wallpaper has Easter vibes, do you understand what I mean? Does that like make sense to you when I say that? I don't really want to use it. I kind of want to do like a, a tile or something or a brick. I mean, sorry. Love how you were whispering about them. Yeah, because I don't know if they're upstairs. If I took my headphones off, I'd be able to hear it better. I don't want to know though. I don't feel embarrassed. Um, okay. Um, that's a good start. Yeah, the brick will be good with the fireplace. Exactly, exactly. I think I want to have like a bit of pink. I think that's the vibes that I'm going for. Slight pink and yellow accents. Cause that's what matches this mostly <laughs> that is what matches that so i'm trying to copy it wait what about the cottage living sofa that's not really pink but that color might be good to to bring in a little bit more do you think is the house duck shaped or what makes it a duck cottage um it's dan's computer I guess is what makes it a duck cottage. I don't know. Um, I, I, yeah, we were going to put like a, a duck pond in the front yard. I haven't done that yet, though. I will. I just haven't yet. Okay, imagine that combo. That's good stuff, right? I like it. I like it. We'll get like a some rubber ducks and stuff in the house too. We'll make it really ducky. I guess. Used a sized up rubber duck as a couch. Oh, <laughs> that's an idea. 
You think a different rug? Oh, really? Do you think that we can make this rug work if we try hard enough? Because I think that it could work. I think that it has potential. Grammy vibes? A little bit. It has, like, slight grandma vibes, yeah. Um... Okay, I was gonna put this here and get like a pretty lamp on it of some sort. Grandma vibes is the goal. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm thinking too, is that I'm sort of trying to channel grandma. How many rooms will it be? It's a three bedroom house. There's like a kid's bedroom, the primary bedroom, and then like maybe a teen's room or something. And then it has one bathroom. We can work on the outside a bit more if you want, because then we can think more about... Um, like the duck vibes <laughs> i can try and get us some more some more landscaping and try and fill it in that might be good for us to do to be honest um okay let me get some pretty trees i'm gonna have to scoot it forward on the lot i just wanted to build it a little bit backwards because the the lighting is kind of weird up closer to the front of the lot, and I don't really want that. So, I was trying to avoid it. The other main thing that I want to do is have a pond. And I'm wondering if we could have, like, imagine if the pathway went kind of like this, and there was, like, a little duck pond kind of here you know how does that oh my god i made that way too deep but you know imagine there was say it was like less ugly imagine there was a pond there that's kind of what i was thinking okay how about you I don't think that that's big enough for ducks. I might have to... I might have to scoot the whole lot over just a bit. I'll have to redo the trees. <laughs> hey, Rosanna, how are you? Um, hope you're having a good day so far. Um, okay. I don't know, I haven't... I'm making it too deep, I think. I need to, like, really uh, lighten my touch i don't like doing pawns i always feel like i don't know what i'm doing you know is the terrain plug just for terrain paint or all terrain actions i don't do that much with terrain tools so i'm not all that familiar with like what if the terrain bug affects it but no one ever complains about that so I'm assuming that no, the terrain paint glitch is purely a terrain paint glitch. Um, that would be my assumption. I've never seen it affect the rest of the terrain. Um, and it's, no one ever talks about that. So, oh my God, it's not big enough. I need a bigger pond. Let me see if I can like go all the way down, try again. Never made a good looking pond. It's hard, isn't it? I don't like it. <laughs> Not an EP and Sam said thank you for the sub. Um, okay. Make it bigger. That's kind of like heart shaped a little bit. I did not mean for it to be that big. The ducks don't float, though, when it's like that. I guess we can make it work when it's big. We can embrace it and make it work. I'll, I'll do it. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. I think that one is cute. Mix in rubber ducks with the regular ducks? I mean, I guess we could potentially do something like that. I think that would be too much. Um... Okay, it's gonna be so cottagey and cute. <laughs> we'll get some rocks, we'll fill it in, it's gonna be fine. Um, 
Oh. Apparently, Dan just said something happened that I, I'm gonna talk quieter. Something happened that I assume was bad because I just heard a few, oh my God. And then I heard the word warranty. So it's going well. <laughs> he doesn't know what they're talking about though because he can't see them. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that can't be a good sign. <laughs> Oh my god. I can't allow myself to stress about this. I cannot allow myself to stress about this. <sighs> yep, looks promising. <laughs> oh, okay. What do I want to get other... Let me get some debug landscaping too. Um, db.showhiddenobjects. db.showliveeditobjects. Okay. Um, let me go into the cottage living debug so we can get some bushes. Do I need to add more water? Oh, into this? I'm, I'm gonna try and fill it with some plants and stuff. I'm not gonna put more water in there. Um, I guess I could also use this one instead of the cottage living one. This one's the base game one. I do really like this bush. Always works well. Okay, um, maybe, put you small and in the corner, okay, I think it's too big of a bush, yeah, I want it to be big on purpose, was kind of my thought process, I was trying to have it be like, lots of plants, we want it to be kind of overgrown, I guess. This song is called Grandma Wants a Brand... Grandma Wants a what? Grandma Wants a Brand New Simoleon. What? I had to wait for the thing to slide over so I could see it. The full song. It's very quiet. I can't even hear it. Whatever this song is. So, you trust overgrown landscaping? Or you love, sorry, I saw someone say trust the process and someone else said, <laughs> I love overgrown landscaping and I combined their two messages. That's my bad. Um, okay. Try that. Well, I also trust overgrown landscaping. So it'll be fine. Is that clipping? Yes. Boo. Now it's only clipping in the fireplace, so you can't tell. So that's a win. Okay. Good start. Now we fill in the others. Dan does play the guitar. Yeah, he does. Um, I have absolutely zero musical talent, but Dan um, really likes music, and he plays the guitar. He's got two guitars and a ukulele. You can't see the other guitar. He has one here, too. Um, I guess I can show you full cam. Kind of. That one is the guitar. Um, but I, I'm not very musical. Not me. Not me. Um, what about, like, you know the big flowers? It's because he's British. What, you think that? You think that because he's British, uh, he's he's able to play the guitar? Honestly, maybe that's it. That's all they have. Oh, is that a fender? Uh, not a single clue. Not a single clue. I don't know what that means, to be honest. Um, <laughs> brand, I assume? Um, that one says Epiphany on the guitar. That one starts with an S. And I don't know what that is. So, I don't know. 
I don't know what it means. I'm sorry. I'm not the person to ask questions about guitars. Um, can confirm it is a guitar. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see. Maybe put that over there. Try something like that. Sure, sure. Um. Oh, that's gonna be really cool, Shay. I hope you have a really great time when you're in town. Um, I live relatively close to Disney World, I guess, in the grand scheme of things. Um, Disney World is in Kissimmee, not really in Orlando, Orlando, and I live in, like, Orlando, Orlando, um, so it, like, half an hour-ish, um, to, to get there for me, but depends on the day, I suppose you could say. <laughs> um, but let me put some more of these over here, too. Thought you lived in Magic Kingdom. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm in the I'm in the castle right now. I'm in the Magic Kingdom castle right now. No, I do not know how to play any instruments, Rosanna. I when I say I possess absolutely zero musical talent, I really mean it when I say that. I am not in any way, shape, or form musical. I am the farthest you could get from from musically inclined. <laughs> I'm terrible, absolutely terrible. Um, have you, cat lady? Um, yeah, people uh, people pronounce Kissimmee in many different ways. Most people that haven't been here before, I guess. Um, I know that Sasha and her family always called it Kissimmee because they didn't know. Um, but Kissimmee is what the people around here say. Um, okay. Wow, the AC broke at Disney? Call the mouse now, that is unacceptable. <laughs> there you go, someone call Mickey Mouse. You get him, you know what, if Mickey wants to pay for it. That'd be fine. <laughs> that'd be okay. That would be okay. Um, um, should we do some like of these darker? Like more purpley flowers. I kind of like those. We can like layer those in, I guess, a little bit with everything. Um. Okay. They look so Sims three to you. No, I can see that. I can see that. That's good. We're playing the Sims three soundtrack today. Let's commit to the Sims three thing. Why not? Um, what's Kissimmee? Kissimmee is a, um, it's a town in Central Florida, city in Central Florida, whatever, it's a place, um, kind of nearby to Orlando, close to where Disney is. It's a town in Florida. Um, you don't need to worry about it. <laughs> if you've never heard of it, doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, just take my word for it. <laughs> um. Okay, so probably no more of these. Oh, no, another one back here. Maybe a small one in there. I like it. Um, fill up the backyard and make a boat shack. Oh, you think so? That could be kind of cute. I was thinking about using um, maybe like some of these fences in the backyard. I don't know about the boat thing. I guess it is in, um, it is in Brindleton Bay, so it's not that weird. I love this fence. That's so cute to me. Obsessed with it. Um, let's see. You've been watching my Legacy Challenge, have you really? <laughs> That's cool. I hope that you like it. That makes me really happy. It's, um, to me, like, people, uh, that tell me that they've been enjoying my legacy challenge and stuff, it feels like a really full circle moment um, in my life because I obviously started doing YouTube. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice. I started doing YouTube when I was like 16. But because I liked a bunch of other Sims YouTubers, you know, I was like really obsessed with Life Simmers Let's Plays and I love to watch Deligracy's Let's Plays. Um, and I would like rewatch Life Simmers Generations Let's Play. So when I made the Nightmare Legacy Challenge, I was kind of like intentionally trying to channel 
that energy. Like I, I wanted it to um, be reminiscent of like the vibes of the series that people used to make, like the Sims Let's Play people used to make back when I was younger. Um, and uh, I, I don't know, it's fun that people like it because <laughs> it, it is fun for me to play and I've really been enjoying it. So um, yeah, anyway. <laughs> uh, I, I owe a lot to my original um, obsession with them when I was younger. They are, they are the reason I am here today. <laughs> um, Life Simmer streams on Twitch, if you all didn't know. Um, she, she streams on Twitch a lot. If you are uh, also a longtime Life Simmer fan, like some of us, um, she does stream on Twitch. I might try and get a more yellow colored extra yellow colored flower. Why can't there be a Sims con? You know, they're actually for a bit, this was a few years ago, um, pre pandemic to be, to be blunt about it. But a few years ago, they had a, um, a Simmers meetup in Europe, uh, which was kind of fun. It was like hosted by the community, not so much by like EA officially, but they did do a Simmers meetup. Um, I was not there. I was a young teen, so I was not going all the way to it, but, um, okay. Yeah, Life Simmer streams on Twitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, she does stream on Twitch. Um, do you all like this color combo for the flowers? I think that's pretty good. Right? It's, um, it's pretty. It's whimsical, it's nice. I like it. Should I put some more of these down? Probably. All it needs is a duck? Yeah, probably. <laughs> um, we'll have to get some. We'll have to get some ducks to put in the front. Um, okay. I'm thinking about putting a little bit of a fence in in like the front corner of the yard because I kind of want to put like I guess I'll do terrain paint but I kind of want to put like a little bit of a pathway and that might be a nice way to help split up the space potentially because then we can do some more flowers on like this side of it I guess somehow I don't know. Um, can I paint the house light yellow? Maybe we haven't, you're right. We haven't picked out any exterior paint colors yet. <laughs> we probably should. Um, been thinking of trying this game, any advice for a noob? Oh my goodness. You know what? Um, I guess the best part of the Sims 4 right now is that it's free. So you can download the base game for free. Um, so there, it's not like high stakes, I guess, because you don't have to invest anything into it, you know? <laughs> um, so if you've been thinking about trying it out, I say just download the game and, and give it a shot. See if you like it. Um, you might want to, uh, a lot of people like to play The Sims with cheats, like money cheats and stuff, so you can build your dream house or whatever. Um, you might want to look up some cheats, I guess, just in advance so you know how to get extra money. But um, otherwise, there's nothing stopping you. Um, I say, uh, just go for it. Oh, stop doing terrain paint, Kayla. It's gonna glitch. Do it last, okay. Um, well, that's a good start though, with the landscaping. I think that on the roof, I'm kind of considering trying a shingle color, sort of like this one, because that kind of reminds me of like the dark purple that we have in the bushes. Maybe it should be like this one. I don't know, but that kind of reminds me of the bushes, so I sort of like that. Um, and then maybe we could put like, oh, I don't know. Should there be like white siding instead of the pale yellow that people were talking about? We do have yellow. Can't tell. <laughs> Firehawk, boneless, uh, Nox, thank you for the sub. Um, okay. 
Let me try to paint it white just so I can see. Oh, I should save my game. That's a good point. <laughs> um, okay. Let's go around and paint all of these quick. Please save your game. Yours just crashed. Oh boy. That's another reason to save. Um, chat, if you're also playing Sims right now, just save real quick. Um, I know that a lot of you are, so <laughs> just give it a, just give it a save, you know? <laughs> just to be safe. Um, you want to play Sims 3 now? Yeah, I love The Sims 3. You all know I love The Sims 3. The Sims 3 is like my, uh, my home, my childhood. Um, it brings me a lot of joy. You know, I started playing The Sims 2. Well, I was going to make a video on The Sims 2 this week. Um, and I, I was trying to, um, reset my, uh, my saves because, or my singular save, because in The Sims 2, it's like, um, the, the world is continuous. It's not like separate saves. So, um, you play with like one household in one world and the rest of them are all still there. And I wanted to reset it so I could do some like fresh start gameplay. Um, and I tried to do it, but then when I did it, um, I, I accidentally, my game went back to like default settings, um, and stopped working because you have to kind of like hack it a little bit to make the Sims 2 run on computers these days. Um, and I caused myself a bit of a problem in the process <laughs> and the Sims 2 decided to stop working for me. So now I have to like go back and mess with it again, um, and like fix it all again. Um, cause I, I ruined it by accident. So oops. Um, but it's okay. It's not that big of a deal. It's not that hard to fix. It's just annoying. And I didn't have time to deal with it that day. So I was frustrated, but, um, yeah, there's uh the Sims 2 is fun, but obviously it's old now. So it causes you some trouble. The music is super loud right now. Is it? I actually cannot even hear it. Like I can barely hear it. I'll turn it down a little bit for you. Um, music is blasting. I guess it's just because the songs are, there's so much difference in the volume of the different songs. So that's probably like contributing to it being weird for people. Um, is your headset broken again? No, I think it's just loud outside. Um, and also I'm on Dan's computer, so I don't know. Um, I don't know how to fix it <laughs> and mess with it more. You can't hear it either. What the heck? This one's quiet now. This song is quiet. It's fine. <laughs> Let's just not allow ourselves to stress about it. There's going to be some weird aspects of the stream today just because I'm not at my PC. And I I am I was telling chat earlier, but I don't really want to mess with Dan's computer settings that much because I don't want to, like, make it difficult for him to put it back, you know? Um, so I'm overthinking it. Well, gamers, you could always have Dan scream singing in your ears, so I guess there's that. <laughs> yeah, you guys, if you've not been to Dan's streams, look, count yourself lucky. Let's just say that. Um, it's a, it's a different vibe out there <laughs> when Dan's live. Um, okay, I'm gonna get a couple little planter boxes on here. This is so fun. Thought something looked different. Yeah, I'm in I'm in Dan's office. Um, it's because they're installing a new air conditioning unit at my house today, um, and so uh, there's a bunch of men in and outside of the house, and they're gonna have to go into my office to access the uh, the AC stuff because um, it's in the closet in there. When they oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> I was trying to press escape. I hit F1. I went to manage worlds. Um, but yeah, that's why, so I, I can't be in there if they're going to have to go in there. So I'm in here. You understand. If you were me, you do the same thing. So me and the cats were in here right now. Um, not Snap, because she's not as much of a baby as these, as the babies are, but the babies are babies, so they're both in here. I think Shrimp is underneath that chair, like, in the blanket. Um, unless he's, oh my god, he's in the blanket. Oh, I can see him breathing. Shrimp is He's under that. 
Holy shrimp, baby. He probably heard them come in. Oh my god. Sunny doesn't care. Sunny's on the tree. She's fine. The shrimp is a lot more scared than um, Sunny gets. Shrimp is a, a bit of a baby. Um, but, um, yeah, he's uh, a nervous little guy. So he's got to hang out with us. Keep him safe, you know? <laughs> They're installing Animal Crossing in your house? No way. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> AC. Haha. -ha. Okay. Little flowers. That's probably nice for now. Your boy Milka is also always scared, really? Yeah, he's um he's really nervous around people, strangers, more so than the other cats are. Um It's not like Sunny likes oh my god, the terrain paint's gone. This is why we, we couldn't do it. We'll we'll fix the terrain paint last, don't worry. Um yeah, it's not like Sunny likes strangers, but she's not as afraid of them as Shrimp is. Um so It's really cute that he hides in the bed. I gotta be honest. I And him being underneath the blanket. It's actually a pretty good hiding spot. Like, the people can't really tell you're there, Shrimpy. If they look close, they can see you breathing and a lump moving. I just saw him turn his head. <laughs> um, but it's a, it's a pretty decent hiding spot. Well, with a name like Shrimp. Yeah, that's true, actually. We set him up for failure, didn't we? We named him Shrimp. Of course he's scared. Your cat fears nothing, really? Oh, that's good. The inside decoration is tacky. <laughs> oh, it's nice to meet you too. Welcome to the stream. Um, we were kind of going for like granny chic a little bit. Um, so that's kind of the vibe, thank you. Um, <laughs> first message, people are so silly. Um, okay, what else do we want to get? Maybe that's good enough for the outside. We'll do the terrain paint, like I said, last. Um, so we can go back and add to it. You know what I might get though first? Wait. Cottage living. There's like a really cute, um, it's like a wall decoration. This one. That's good. Um, okay. Well, we've got that sorted. Let's do the bathroom now. Cause then we can finish that part and be done with it. Um, Shell and VJ and Angie and Sims Kitty and Small Potted Plant, thank you for the subs. Um, okay, so tile? Um, we haven't really used that many packs yet. I guess we've been using Growing Together and stuff, but... It's mo mostly Cottage Living and Horse Ranch. Where do you think they are? Oh god. <laughs> I heard hammering. It's happening, it's happening. Oh my god. <laughs> we are going to TwitchCon EU, cat. Yeah, me and Dan actually booked our flights last night. Um, so I am officially committed to going to TwitchCon EU. I bought my ticket already too, but um, the flights are a, a bigger deal than the ticket to TwitchCon. <laughs> I gotta be honest. Uh, but we, I, I did book my flights for TwitchCon EU, so I will be there. Um, okay, sorry about the hammering, chat. I guess it was only a matter of time until it began. Um, Kate, we started with House Slipper, but it was causing a lot of uh, PC trouble on Dan's computer. It kept saying encoding overloaded and stuff, and like the, the computer was lagging. The stream wasn't lagging. Like Chat was saying that their stream was fine, but... It was lagging a lot, or at least it appeared to be lagging a lot on my end. Um, and I was nervous about that. I didn't really love the vibes of, of the PC lagging before I even really started. So um, we decided uh, to hold off and maybe play on my computer where we know it will give us less trouble. Because <laughs> um, we were going to do sandbox mode in House Flipper, and you all know what happened last time in sandbox mode. So if the computer was already having a hard time, we don't need to make it worse. Like, that's the last thing we need to be doing, is is adding more. But we, we're we gonna do a little switcheroo of the stream schedule. I'll play House Slipper on Saturday, I promise, chat. Um, but you you say you're sad about House Slipper now. You would have been more sad if uh, we had spent three hours working on a sandbox build, and then the game died, and then it broke. Like, last time. Um, 
mark my words, <laughs> you would have been real upset about that one. I speak from experience when I say that. Uh, that sink is from the country kitchen kit, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to try and get some gold accents. It's kind of like an old timey sink, but it's okay. Um, okay. Um, it's one of your favorite Bill Spy songs. This is called Something New For You. Uh, it's from The Sims 3 Pets, this song that we're playing right now. It is a good one. It's one of my favorites, too. Um, okay. Really takes you back when you listen to these things, doesn't it? <laughs> it's kind of fun. Um, no, I don't like that peachy color. Maybe this one. I don't think so. I don't know. Sometimes you consider buying growing together just to have this shower tub combo. Hey, look, I get it. I actually, I really understand where you're coming from. And I, I would support you in that decision. Growing together has a couple really nice build items. Um, this shower tub combo being one of them. Um, the sink is pretty nice and the tile too. Um, yeah, I, I get it. I get it. Um, you're probably going to get the paranormal pack just for the couch. <laughs> oh, yeah, that I understand that, too. I really do. Listen, I bought Dan Horse Ranch today um, just because I wanted to have the shutters. Um, so, you know, it's fine. You're, you're safe here with us. <laughs> we get it. <laughs> this is a group that really understands where you're coming from. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why Dan didn't own the horse pack. It was the only expansion pack that he didn't own. Um, which is weird. I don't understand why he wouldn't have got that one. Do you know what part of it is, though? The horse ranch came out right when we found the kittens. Um, so there was a very great distraction in our lives at the time um more so than like there even is usually um so maybe that's part of it is that the kittens were uh recent additions in our lives um i don't know not time to to play the sims wasn't thinking about it and then he didn't go back and grab it later or something um no, Echo, I wasn't planning on... People keep being like, why didn't you log into your account? <laughs> I don't want all of the... Pa I just wanted a horse ranch. It's not a big deal. <laughs> and I, Dan has most of the packs. He just misses missing kits, and that's fine. Um, and I don't need to install all of them. Like, it's really not a big deal. Dan has... It's fine. Like, <laughs> And he's going to play with horse ranch eventually. I didn't, like, buy it for no reason, you know? Um, so it's okay. <laughs> it's really okay. Um... I could have logged into my account and, like, installed all of them, but it wasn't worth it. I wasn't planning on playing Sims today either. I installed House Flipper 2 earlier, thinking I was going to play House Flipper on Dan's PC. Um, so that, that was my pre-stream activity, and then it didn't work out. So, um, yeah, I, I did use my creator code. I, I did use uh, code LilSimsy at checkout. I'm going to get 5% back on that one. Good for me. <laughs> um... Do I think Crystal Creations is worth the full $10 or should I wait for a sale? Um, I mean, that really depends on your, uh, your current situation, I guess. Because here's the thing. Um, I, I would encourage every person ever to wait for a sale, I think, with every Sims pack. Um, like, if you can save money on it, you, you might as well wait for a sale and try to save a little bit of money on it. Um, but uh, it's not like Crystal Creations is a bad pack, so I wouldn't feel like you wasted your money um, if you bought it full price right now, um, especially if you want to play it right now. Um, you'll, you'll have a fun time with it. Um, I, think it's a, I think it's a decent pack. It's way better than most of the other stuff packs. Um, but oh my god, they're hammering. <laughs> That's them in my closet. The closet is there. So do you understand now why I couldn't be in there? 
But yeah, I think that with Crystal Creations in particular, it it literally just released, so it's probably not going to be on sale for a while. Um, so, uh, you know, we have to brace ourselves for that, I guess. Um, prepare for a, a pretty long wait. Um, I don't love how that looks, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I think for $10, it's a pretty good um, amount of stuff. Um, isn't it full of bugs? Um, it has a couple bugs. I have not, I haven't encountered any of the, the crystal bugs that people have been talking about online, and they did patch them very quickly. Um, but I never had any of those bugs. Um, and it was just like the first couple of days, which obviously is a bad thing, but, um, yeah, I, I didn't personally experience any of those. Um, so, no, they didn't get rid of the shopping cart, Gloomy. Um, only some people have the shopping cart. It's a test. They're, they're testing the shopping cart on people's computers. Um, so not everybody has the shopping cart. Apparently Dan is the lucky one who didn't get the shopping cart. Um, but yeah, they didn't get rid of it. It's just that Dan doesn't have it. Um, will I put the build on the gallery? Oh my god, it's gonna be on Dan's gallery. I might have to get my own tray files and bring it to my PC and put it up there because <laughs> that's insulting. We can't have it on Dan's gallery. That's not right. <laughs> he cannot have it. <laughs> it does not belong to him. <laughs> that's not right. Um, no, that's not fair. I reject it. I reject it. Um... What if it was? Like, what if it was on his gallery? He has some things on his gallery. It's me, Duck Dan. Lil Simsy is paying me to be her boyfriend. Thank you for listening. People are gonna believe you, Dan. You can't. You can't. Oh my god. 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 People are gonna listen. Oh, yikes. Oh, I was gonna look at his gallery stuff, wasn't I? Wait. It's mostly fine. I spelt my name wrong. Oh, I'll keep it. We can have it be spelled wrong. It says Lil Simize is my favorite Sims YouTuber. Oh, you can't see it. It's behind my face cam. Oh. How do you turn the face cam off on this? There. <laughs> um. Did I... What is that? I remember him building this. Modern Oasis Duplex? <gasps> he built a duplex in 2020 before the pack ever came out. That's so cute. He made a little fake duplex. <laughs> He's really a simmer. He's one of us. <laughs> He needs to get back in his simmer era. His builds are actually pretty good. Um, I don't like this thing. I don't think the vibes are good, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Sorry. Um, okay, growing together. Maybe I put like the light green, or I guess I've been doing light blue. Have, no, no, green's better, sorry. Yikes. Yeah, I wish the play mat had like a pastel Vibe, vibe to it. I don't know. Do you remember watching him stream when Snowy Escape came out? Oh, did he do some simming when Snowy Escape came out? I I can see him doing that. I think he might have done that. You're probably right. 
Well, if you watched it, then you would know. <laughs> but yeah, he probably did. He's he's played Sims a couple times. I think that Dan, and I don't know if he would admit to this, um, but I think that Dan uh, is a little bit intimidated to stream The Sims um, because he he knows a lot about The Sims. Like, obviously, you know, he's is married to me. He edits my videos and stuff. Like, he, he sees a lot of Sims content, but he's not, like, uh, the most well-versed in The Sims, I guess. Like, he doesn't know the controls as well. He doesn't know all the packs as well like I do. He doesn't know how everything works as well as I do. Um, he has, like, more average skills in that sense. And I think that, like, streaming the sims hi Tiny, um is kind of intimidating for him when there's like so many people in his community that are so into the sims and like know so much um because you know a lot of you all obviously play the sims all the time um and so i think he gets a bit nervous about about streaming it and playing in front of people um but i get that oh my god now both the kittens are underneath the chair it's because they're getting scared of the noise, I think. I'm really sorry, babies. I'm very sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, Melina, Charlotte, and, and Tuchin, and Lucky, and, and everybody, thank you for the subs and bits. Um, poor kittens. I'm so sorry for them. Um, let's see. What else could I get them in this room? Let's keep that back. I too don't like strangers. Yeah, I really get it. I understand where they're coming from. You haven't played Sims in a couple years, but you would consume so much Sims content. Yeah, I understand that. That's um, that's kind of how I am with a lot of the games that I watch on YouTube too, where like I consume a lot more content of like other, to give an example, like um, City Skylines, I consume a lot more content of other people playing City Skylines than I actually play City Skylines myself. And it's just because I get a little bit intimidated by City Skylines. Um, I don't feel like I'm, like, the best at it. So I kind of overthink, I guess, and, and don't play it that much. Um, but, yeah, I, I understand where you're coming from. Please stream City Skylines. We had a phase when it first came out, the new one, where we were playing it a bunch on stream. Um, but I haven't played it in a bit, so probably should we've been in a big uh, house flipper phase recently no mistake city skylines i actually have that written down as an idea for a charity incentive in may we've we were talking about that a few months ago um okay i'm overthinking this little tiny room i think i don't like that one Oh my god, the whole wall was shifted. Do you think they're doing the thermostat like right there, right now? I'm so embarrassed. Just talk like normal Kayla, it's fine. I can't tell if it's coming from here where the thermostat is or from the closet. Can you speak up? Shut up, Hope. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. Oh my god, it's fine, it's fine. I didn't really think this through, this part through. You can't hear anything. Oh, you can't? Oh, Dan's noise gate is better than mine. There's hammering. You can't hear me talking when I when I wish when I whisper. Oh, is it actually his noise gate that's that good? I'm sorry, I'm not used to his um I'm not used to his computer and his settings. I don't know what they're like. Oh, you're messing with me? You can hear me. Oh. Oh, see, I trusted you guys. I trusted you and you lied to me. <laughs> you betrayed my trust, chat. Who does that? <laughs> um, Ash, thank you for the stuff, by the way. I appreciate that. We can hear you. We cannot hear hammering. Oh, that's lucky, I guess. Oh my god, it's making the... It's making his monitor shake. I'm scared. Um, okay, maybe I'm gonna raise this up. Oh, he has stream home decorator, doesn't he? So I can use my good shelves. Let me get myself a couple of the things that I want to put on this shelf, and then I can use my good ones. 
can always go hide with shrimp. I put myself underneath the blankets too. <laughs> I, I hide underneath there just like the cats. If you guys missed it, there's two cats. Sunny is like, there, oh, you can maybe see it moving. There's two cats in the blanket. I actually think they might both be in that on top of the chair. Cuddling up there. I think I see two lumps. I think they're both in there. So you might see it move. Snappy's downstairs with Dan. She's not as scared as the kittens are. Um, she doesn't really get as nervous. She's a bit of a braver person. Cat. Bit of a braver cat. <laughs> Poor kittens. Poor kittens. I love this item. The way that the, the, the little, like, animal changes is so cute. I like it. Snap's too old to be scared. Yeah, I, she also can't hear the hammering that's scaring the kittens. So. She's, uh, lucky for that, I guess. <laughs> she's got that going for her. <laughs> um. Okay. Cute little shelf, right? I don't know how much more to do. You can't let your cats in the computer room. They knock everything over. Oh, really? The kittens were worse about that when they were younger. They're not even that old, but um, they used to, like, be more interested in knocking into things when we first found them. And, and now they're... More noise. Now they're, um, they're not as chaotic these days. I guess you could say. What pack is that from? This is base game. It's the newborn gift basket. It's one of those things that came out when they did the infant update. A little bit of uh, decor. Okay, let me think about the primary bedroom next. Um, your cat likes to turn your monitors with her face. Oh my god. Mine, they keep trying to walk underneath the monitors um, because they used to when they were smaller, but now they're getting to be like close to the size of adults full-grown cats and they can't really fit underneath the monitor as much but they still go under it and like knock it in the process <laughs> um so that's what we've been dealing with recently is the kittens uh not understanding their true size <laughs> oh the bathtub does not have a duck that's true we should put one in sometimes when you're sad you think about how tiny their tails were when we found them they were so small. They were so little. And they were like little tiny rats. It's so cute. If you're maybe new to my streams, we, um, back in July, we found a couple of kittens in a sewer <laughs> by my parents' house. I, three kittens and their mom. Um, and we adopted two of the kittens. My parents adopted the mom and the other kitten. Um, so we all of a sudden had like a bajillion extra cats, <laughs> um, but the, the, the kittens in question are the ones that are in the blanket right now. So, and I have another cat who's older. She's uh, almost 16. The other cat is, her name is Snap. Um, so we have a couple little tiny babies and one old lady <laughs> in the house. Um, Okay. What else can I do for this room? I'm guessing, like, maybe a desk could be good. Um, how is that July? I don't like to think about it. It makes me feel kind of weird when I think about how fast they grew and how they're, like, big now. You know? Like, where does the time go? How is this possible? How? How? When did you get so big? Your cat had her 13th birthday last week. Oh, really? Happy birthday to your cat. That's very exciting. Um... I'm excited for Snap's uh, Sweet 16 coming up soon, in a couple of months. Um, we're gonna we're gonna try and get her a car. <laughs> I was thinking about trying to buy like a toy car or like some something that we can take like a photo shoot with her and and um, pretend that she got her license. <laughs> that is my plan. So we will be doing that with Snap soon. Um, maybe. A Barbie convertible? Could you imagine me trying to put Snap in a Barbie convertible? I don't know if she would, uh... I don't know if she'd be down for that. 
Give that girl a pink Jeep. That's a fun idea too, actually. Um, yeah, Hope, Emma, um, when her 21st is soon, what month? How soon? Very exciting milestone birthday. Um, I think it's playing music. It's speaking to me. Don't speak. There's words in this song. Go back to the original Sims theme. Um, March 23rd. That's soon. That is sooner than I thought. Um, you love the car idea? Just watch the trolls. <laughs> oh my god. Could you imagine people think that I'm trying to hint that cars are coming to the Sims because I got a toy car for my cat's birthday? <laughs> No, you know what's funny is people probably would be like, maybe she's trying to tell us something. <laughs> but it's like literally just my cat's birthday. <laughs> you know they will. Everything I do gets uh, linked back to The Sims. People think that I know way more than I do. And and truth be told, I don't think that cars are ever coming to The Sims 4. I really, um, I fear that that ship has sailed. Um, that car has driven. <laughs> if you will. Um, yeah, I don't really um, feel like the chances are high for us um, at this point. The game's been around for a long time and um, completely not built for cars. Like, everything would have to change. Everything. Um, and that, I don't know if they're gonna do. So. Um, you don't even want them that bad? Yeah, I can see that. Um, I don't really care that much about it either, personally, but, um, I understand why people want them. I just feel like it might be too late. Um, the only thing, and I keep saying this, but the thing that I want more has less to do with, like, drivable cars. I want, like, a functional garage door that you, like, opens like a real garage door does. Um, that's more interesting to me than like actual cars are. Um, but I don't think they could ever do that because if they gave us a garage and not cars, people would be so mad at them. Rightfully so, but I, I care more about the idea of a garage than I do about the idea of cars. Um, yeah, I just like the, like the building decorations of it, so. Um, anyway, more like decorations that could be good for garages too would be fun. Um, I did a pack that had like combo home and retail lots and they could because shops have like roll up garage doors that's true there's some like decorative metal door type things in the sims 4 from like um city living and stuff but they're not big enough and they're not what I need like I have a vision and it's we need more than that for it Okay, I want to do like three pictures. Maybe I'll put these above the bed. I don't hate that. They could recolor. Yeah, if they like improved upon the city living ones as a start, that wouldn't even be bad. Um, put two next to each other. Yeah, I always use the um, snowy escape door as a fake garage door. I always use this one. It's not a sliding door like that opens up, I guess, but it is a big door. It's medium wall height though. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to yawn. It's medium wall height though, um, but it fits like kind of on short wall height pretty well. It just like clips a tiny bit, so I use it on short wall height all the time. You want a pottery pack called Killin' Time? Killin' Time. <laughs> that would be funny. There is a debug garage door too, but it's not the same that we're talking about. It's too small. Um, it's like not wide enough. Um, it's not really like garage, garage door vibes like we want. Um, but we use those things sometimes as filler. Um, when we need to. Okay. <gasps> I pressed F1 again instead of escape. I'm not used to Dan's keyboard. <laughs> This is terrible. <laughs> yeah, there is mods in CC for it, Orion. Um, there, there are mods in CC for it. I think that um, the issue with that is, oh my god, hi baby, are you scared? I know, there's noises. Come here, sugar sweetie. Oh. 
he came out and then he went back in. I'm sorry, little man. Um, yeah, there's mods in CC, but obviously not everybody can download mods in CC. Um, so there, it's like not feasible for people that play on console or, or whatever. Um, so, it, you know, we still want these things to get actually made um, for that reason. Taking me back to the old days of me pressing the M key accidentally. You know why that used to happen, Christine? It's because I used to use um, the keyboard to, I would like rotate with the, the keys on the keyboard like this. I would be doing this to control the game, so I would hit M and go to the map by accident all the time. Um, it doesn't really happen to me anymore because I don't use my controller that way. But on my old computer that I had, like at my parents' house, I used to always control the game like that. So, <laughs> kind of funny. Um, mm, I don't know if that window being there is good or not. I guess the curtains aren't even really clipping. This is very yellow. What do I use now? Oh, the, um, on the mouse, there's like a middle button that I hold down. And that's how I control the computer. Just on the mouse. Um, maybe I'll steal that. Oh, there's something painting. Uh-oh. Sorry. What's the M key? Just M. Like the the letter M, it takes you to the map. I'm not um, in live mode, so I can't. But it takes you to the map when you do that. Um, yeah, not having a mouse is so I I cannot play The Sims without a mouse anymore. I can't. I just can't. Um, I don't know how I used to do that. Um. I wish that the easels came in white. That's one of the most annoying things about this. Why? They need to recolor them. There's a Sims 3 logo because it's the album cover of the music I'm playing on Spotify. Dan, usually, um, I can show you another example. But look, if I, like, put on Taylor Swift for a second, it changes the album cover. Um, but Dan plays music on a stream a lot, so people ask what it is. It also has, like, the name of the song up there which is kind of cool um again i'm on dan's stream so i can't um i i'm not gonna mess with it too much but that's why there's like some weird things going on um dan's computer okay let me think about Ooh. yikes that's a maybe That one's also a maybe. Can't decide. Like to play in bed so you use your trackpad. You know what my sister does? My sister plays on a laptop too. My sister takes a textbook and she puts her mouse on the textbook and she plays Minecraft in bed. Um, so there are ways. <laughs> She's got a mouse with her laptop and she uses the textbook so she can move the mouse, mouse around. <laughs> um. But her and her friends play a lot of bed wars, so they need it. Um, serious uh, gamer vibes, you know? You can't be messing around when bed wars is involved. Um, use a board game instead of a book? Yeah, that's so funny. Same vibes though, huh? <laughs> um, you used to use your notebook as a mouth when you travel for work? Yeah, yeah. You never use your desk. Yeah, I use my desk all the time, but when I was in high school, I didn't use it as much. Um, I was more of a laptop person in high school, though. Now I have, a, like, a stationary computer desk, and I much prefer it. So. Bed wars in bed. Yeah. <laughs> Serious business. Serious business. I think she's actually pretty good at bed wars. Not to brag, but, like, my sister's kind of a gamer. So... Um, maybe I'll leave that like that, actually. I don't know. Stay simmer, Blanche! Uh, and Cameron, thank you for the subs. What is Bed Wars? Um, it's like, in Minecraft, it's like a mini game where you, like, kill people 
Um, but the goal is to, like, destroy their bed so they don't respawn. So you're, like, fighting them to try and get to their bed and destroy it so that they can't respawn, and then you kill them, and then you win. It's kind of like Capture the Flag, but it's bed. Because it's Minecraft. Um. So. <laughs> okay. Um. Let me think about wallpaper in here, too. Super fun, but so difficult. Yeah, I, I'm not really a PvP kind of gal. I don't really enjoy games like that. It's not really fun for me. So I don't play them. Um, I'm not a big fan. The her and her friends always play them together. So good for them. <laughs> used to play the Hunger Games in Minecraft. Oh, I used to do that all the time. I was so into that when I was younger. Um, thank you for finally getting the walls. Oh, if you're new to my stream, you're going to hate this. I always do the wallpaper like basically last. Um, that is a uh, very common for me. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, let me see about maybe like a little bookshelf or something. Oh, how about that bookshelf? That's good. Okay. Primary bedroom done. Let me think about the, like, teen's bedroom or whatever this is going to end up being. What wallpaper is that? Oh, it's just a base game wallpaper. Nothing fancy, just a base game one. Um, oops. Okay. Nice. So, in this room... Maybe I'll look at the horse ranch bed again. It doesn't have to be a teen's room. I guess we only have, we have an infant. So maybe like an infant and a child to live in this house. There are some really cute swatches of this bed. But maybe not. How about this one? No. Maybe this one? Oh, I do like that one. I think I want it to be like really yellow though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, Gloomy, that the music won't be in the VOD because of how Dan has his thing set up. So if they're listening to it, they're not going to get to hear our beautiful Sims 3 soundtrack in the VOD. Um, it's like a copyright protection, but... I only play the Sims soundtrack, so I don't have to worry about that as much. <laughs> um, maybe. Oh, that's cute. Or maybe not. Is that cottagey enough? I'm not sure. Oh, Audrey, good question. You can play stuff wherever with a cheat called move objects. The cheat is bb.moveobjects on space on if you get confused you can google um sims 4 move objects and it'll come up so it'll teach you how to use cheats um so that's how you can like play stuff anywhere like that um yeah i don't know what bed to use i'm overthinking as per usual and i keep yawning <laughs> sorry everybody <laughs> sorry for making you all listen to me do this um no I think it needs to be a single bed. We could always do the eco lifestyle one. Maybe this one could be good. Or this one. Oh, this one might be cute. We could get the little polka dots. If you check the VOD, there is no audio. It's a free for all audio time. We could play anything and it wouldn't get us. Do you want to? <laughs> this 
because Dan has his thing set up right. We can play whatever we want. Okay. <laughs> um, thanks to Dan's stream setup for that. Only for a little bit. I won't be live too much longer. I'll be here for like 45 more minutes probably. Um, okay, I just put on uh, Taylor Swift popular. So I'm not trying to pick music myself. I'll just let it play. Maybe I'll play this as Taylor Swift. Hold on. Um, get some One Direction in here. We can play One Direction all stream. <laughs> Don't give me any ideas because you know I would too. That's dangerous. I think that's less likely to be a, a hit with the chat. <laughs> um, maybe in the morning we can get fun audio on top of normal game soundtracks. Well, the problem is, Hope, if I do this, if I set it up like this, it'll have no music in the background of any VOD that I ever play. Um, so it wouldn't have like the Stardew soundtrack in the back of my, um, like when I built like a, a farm and I play the Stardew soundtrack when I'm playing The Sims 4, it wouldn't have anything. Um, aren't you going to get copyrighted? Well, we should be okay because right now, um, Dan has a thing, so it mutes the VOD, the music in the VOD. Um, and so, uh, it, this song won't be in the VOD. And so as long as Taylor doesn't find out and strike me right now, we should be okay. <laughs> as long as Taylor Swift doesn't get word of this, we'll be all right. <laughs> um, well, that's what I mean, Marissa, is I play The Sims and like, this, I was giving the story soundtrack as an example. Sims 2 soundtrack is a better, better case, better example. You wouldn't hear the Sims 2 soundtrack in the back of my regular Sims streams. And when I said the Stardew soundtrack, I meant like when I play the Stardew soundtrack on Spotify. It's Spotify. Um, but Dan basically has his audio split so that this won't get recorded to the VOD. Just the just my voice will, not the music. Um, you don't have to worry about logistics. Just trust me, it's fine. <laughs> just trust me, it's fine. Um, we He does it every day. <laughs> so um, it's, it's all good. Um, Okay, that seems fine. This isn't really as cottagey as I thought it was going to be, but yeah, it'd be an, it, it's not like possible to change it on a daily basis for like my streams, but I thought about asking him to help me set it up, but I don't really know if it's something that I want to have. So, because of like the long-term implications of it doing that, you know? Um. Why is Dan so fancy? It's because he's he's better at like setting that stuff up than I am. He knows more about like PC things than me. I don't want to play anti-hero. Sorry. Um. I think. Is it like? What? Oh, I think it puts the title of the song. It even has the title of the song down there, but because of, um, you can't really see it because I'm playing The Sims. I can't see it there. Wait, look, if I turn the game capture off, when he plays Dead by Daylight, it's way better. Oh, there's not a lot of contrast on the UI. I don't know how to, maybe I can move it. No, I cannot move it. I don't even know what it is. Here we go. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Maybe this is better. Sorry, Dan. No, that's not better. I mean, you can see it, but it's... <laughs> it's not better. I mean, we can just put it there. It's less... It's still not great contrast, but like in some places it's better. So, um, okay, there you go. Problem solved. Um, let's see. Well, sorry, Dan, that I have to um, move your things. <laughs> That's easy to put back because he had it in the corner before. So that won't be a problem for him. Um, okay, 
Um, to me, that kind of scares me. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I don't know if I like hearing that. Um, I, I have a lot of, um, I've seen a couple videos about myself on TikTok that I probably did not need to see that give me a lot of anxiety. So I don't really like hearing about it when there's like videos about me on line. Um, it's not healthy for me to know <laughs> or to think about it. Uh, so <laughs> Aaron Hadley, thank you for the subs. Um, yeah, I don't really need to, to know about those things. Um, hopefully that makes sense to you, but, um, okay. That's a good start, right? I might give this kid a computer. It can be like a bad computer, but just so that we have something. Okay. It's kind of cute. It's kind of cute. Um... Let me put another light in here. Okay. Better lights, more ceiling lights. Um, okay. And then maybe some like cute decor, stuff like that. I don't know. Um, maybe like some high school years posters. I do like the high school years posters a lot. Oh boy. Now I'm feeling kind of anxious. <laughs> Today's been a rough day. I was talking about this in the beginning of the stream, but um, I've, uh, I've gotten myself in a little bit of trouble on Twitter the past couple days. <laughs> I, um, I'm not usually very impulsive on Twitter, um, but I was. And then it got... I replied to something that perhaps I should have left alone <laughs> and then it got like 31,000 likes or something ridiculous and there's a lot of really bad people replying to me and I've made a mistake and <laughs> shouldn't have done that but I did <laughs> so um I've been I've been reading a lot of the replies and I probably shouldn't be doing that either um yeah I wouldn't encourage you to read the replies to that tweet um you can read the tweet maybe not the replies to it for your own sanity chat i'm protecting you um but yeah um <laughs> i didn't really think that was gonna happen i didn't think people were gonna see it um it wasn't really intentional <laughs> um but anyway it's too late now so <sighs> okay um you don't use twitter that's good Keep it that way. I mean it. Um, don't. <laughs> uh, Empress, thank you for the resub. Danny, thank you for the 39 months. And Aaron, thank you for the 20 months. Um, yeah, no, Twitter is a, is a, it's a bad place. And it's just been getting worse. Like, it's not, um, it's not the kind of place you want to be. So... Um, it really is a destroyer of mental health. Yeah, I had, um, I was, like, really off Twitter for a few years, um, and, uh, that was good, but then the past couple weeks, I've been, um, without getting into this too much, there's been a lot of, because I don't want to have to talk about things that are, like, triggering on stream, but, um, there's been a lot of, uh, really upsetting news about a lot of Minecraft creators being, like, um, exposed as, like, abusers and stuff, um, for the past couple of weeks, um, and, uh, I've been, like, reading a lot more of it than I probably should, but I don't know, I guess it's just, like, a thing that hits close to home, and, um, these are, like, people that I knew of, and, like, oftentimes it's, like, my friends, um, and without getting too much into it also, it's, like, I have a lot of friends that have been, um, harmed by male youtubers <laughs> um so not these ones other ones um that they don't want to talk about but it's like seeing all of this happen has been really um i don't know it's just like makes you think a lot about our personal experiences and stuff so i've just been like on twitter a lot and i probably shouldn't be because i'm reading a lot of things that are just like frustrating and not productive um 
but anyway yikes a <laughs> lot of a uh, lot of creators out there that you can't trust let's just say that um a lot of a lot of creators that are bad people behind the scenes um but anyway sorry for bringing it up <laughs> we don't need to talk about that that's unpleasant i don't like how these lights look i don't think um maybe something cute like that um maybe I don't think I like how they look when they're hung low like that, right? I think it looks kind of weird on top of this wallpaper. Maybe that's the issue. Maybe I'll get a different wallpaper. Um, or we could use the star lights. That's true. Maybe that's better. The star ones instead. Or we could just do a wallpaper that maybe is a bit bigger. Um... I don't know. I like this one, but I don't think that one looks good with the polka dot floor that we have. This is one of my favorite wallpapers. We could always do that and like totally change up the vibes of the room <laughs> if we wanted to. Um, we could do like, oh, you know what? That's not even that bad. What do you think about that instead? Totally different vibe. But maybe in a fun way? I think it's pretty. Okay. <laughs> um, I like it. Good. Um, it's very good. Um, okay. Um, I think... The penguin wallpaper is just base game. That's not from any packs or anything. That was just base game. Regular old base game penguins. Um. <laughs> I'm sorry. The fact that we were just talking about <laughs> what we were just talking about and now karma came on. <laughs> I'm just playing. This is Taylor Swift on Spotify. That's really funny timing. Um. But, um. Okay. I think I might get us a little shelf. I like it. Um, we'll put some bookshelves up there. It'll be kind of cute. I might put some toys up there too or something. Just nice, fun little things. Um, I don't really know what I want to put. Oh, this might be a good thing to put in the corner too. It's like filler. That seems good. Okay. Um, maybe scoot these over just a tiny bit more too. No, Sluggy, I won't do music on my streams in the future. I was trying to tell chat that, but it would mean that like you wouldn't hear my Sims 2 soundtrack in the VODs um, if I did that. So it's like fun for a special occasion, but um, I'm not gonna go to the lengths to like change how my streams work um, for all of them just for this, you know. You stopped using Twitter after you lost interest in your BTS stan account. Fair enough. Um, I stopped using Twitter in like 2020 um, when I was getting really frustrated and stressed about um, just the kind of people on Twitter being very ick. Not necessarily like simmers, but like just generally speaking, like Twitter is um, full of misery um and bad things and i was just doom scrolling with like often like a lot of like politics stuff that people were just like being horrible and i was getting frustrated having to read it because i would put myself through it but um yeah i learned my lesson i had to go away <laughs> i had to go away from there it wasn't good for me to be on there um i used to block so many people i never block a simmer on purpose because it usually gets me in trouble if I block a simmer. Because um, then they get mad and it makes it worse. Um, so I would never block a simmer. But I would go through and I would read like these replies to like people being, I don't know, God forbid, like racist or like doing horrible things on Twitter. You, you know how they are. Just like trolls. I was reading these trolls and getting frustrated and then I would block them. And you guys, I used to block so many people. I'm serious. All the time. I'd be blocking like 
every person that had any any sort of bad take in a reply block 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 well <laughs> couple maybe like last year this person comes into my chat and they're like you blocked me on twitter for no reason um <laughs> and so i was like in my head i was like now there's not no reason i know i didn't block you for no reason we banned her because i just could tell there had to be a reason and then in her appeal um she like had her username so i went and i checked her twitter oh my god she had like trump in her banner on twitter oh i blocked you for no reason i don't know what you said at the time that made me block you but let's picture what it would have been now why did i block you <laughs> hmm. <laughs> but anyway i was kind of fun back in those days um i can't be on twitter anymore it's too dangerous I gotta stop putting myself through that. But people are silly, huh? <laughs> but she would have said something in a reply that would have made me block her. That's, that was how I operated um, back then. <laughs> okay, let's figure out the rest of this living space because we are um, almost done. Does Duck Dan live here? Maybe. It does have Duck Dan energy, I guess. Um, we're putting a bunch of ducks everywhere, so. Um, Never seen the ban emote. Oh yeah, we have a kind of good ban emote. I kind of like it. Um, it's obviously the Simsy ban. Ban hammer. Um, okay. Maybe like a, a little bench or something? I can't tell. Oh, I should put a bench outside. Maybe on the patio. I kind of like that. Cute. Um... And then we need a thermostat. And I'll put it over here. Will I paint the ceiling? Maybe. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. Um, okay. That seems good to me. How are the kitties? Um underneath that blanket because <laughs> they're a little bit scared of the uh the ac people being here no one's hammering inside the house right now so they might be outside again but the kittens are um they're a little bit nervous about the air conditioning guys being in the house so um i got so confused because of the background and the music yeah i know this is weird i'm um i'm in dan's office because there's ac people in the closet in my office and um yeah very strange situation <laughs> um saying that i just heard more hammering maybe i'm wrong spoke too soon um Cute. Um, maybe just like a little bit of flowers or something. The way the album blends in. I know the the wording, I'm sorry. I'm I'm it's Dan's setup. I don't have it like set up to work on mine. The when you think about it, like this thing, the song being there, um, Dan usually plays Dead by Daylight, which is like way darker. Um, so you can see it up against the background, but not on mine. <laughs> Not on mine, unfortunately. The Sims is a bit brighter. Um, okay, I think I might use some of these. I look green screened. You think so? I swear I'm in the room. <laughs> I swear I'm actually in Dan's room. <laughs> um, I promise, I promise. Um, it looks like a Zoom background. <laughs> Do you think so? I swear it. Wait. Here. He has this little creepy elf thing. Watch. I'll throw it somewhere. I'll prove it to you. <laughs> it's there. It's real. <laughs> um, okay. Let me think. That's proof. There you go, chat. Um, you like DVD, but you get anxious when the killer is chasing you. Oh, I DVD makes me so nervous. 
to the point where I don't even want to play it. It's, it's not so much like it, maybe this is hard to explain, but it's like the, the anxiety that I feel playing Dead by Daylight has less to do with like the game and more to do with like my fear of letting other people down. Like, I just feel like when I play Dead by Daylight, um, I can't, I can play it when we're playing like with like customs with people that you know, but when you're playing with strangers, my worst nightmare is to like be the person dragging you down and ruining your game. I don't want them to get mad at me. And also a lot of the game is like genuinely creepy. So it makes me, I don't know. I don't like to play it though. I don't like to play competitive games really. I, I love to play my little single player cozy game stuff like this. Um, but I, I'm not really a big um, multiplayer of anything fan. Um, it's not really my vibes. Okay, I definitely spoke too soon. They are doing it again. Maybe you'd do better as killer. I've played as killer before in Dead by Daylight um, when we played with Dan and stuff for things. But um, yeah, it's not really my thing, I guess. I don't really play like any multiplayer games though, as we all know, so. Um, you know, I've heard so many good things about It Takes Two. People tell me about It Takes Two all the time and I still haven't played it. Um, we talked about it a lot, like when it was first out because everybody was like, you have to play It Takes Two, you're gonna love it. And then I didn't. And then I didn't play it. Um, let me play Don't Starve sometime. I actually played Don't Starve a little bit Jeez, back in the day, um, with an old friend, um, on stream, like back when I was living in my dorm in college, I played Don't Starve a little bit. Um, that was a long time ago though. <laughs> I didn't like it that much. Um, I wasn't, I wasn't very good either, obviously. No one's surprised by that. Um, love story, Taylor's version. Oh my. That's fun. <laughs> um, you found Don't Starve so hard? Yeah, I really found it difficult too. It's, I mean, I was playing it in like 2017. Um, so I might have a different experience if I played it now. Um, it's been so long, but it has indeed been a while. Um, okay, let me see. Maybe a little bit of pink on this. Oh, you don't want to place there um need a simsy and dadsy arc stream oh my dad would love that my dad plays a lot of arc um that's his favorite game um you've been trying to find the video game console that comes with the groin together expansion pack oh do you mean the um there is a game console in this game but the video games come with city living these are the game consoles that we have um so those are not from Growing Together. The only game in Growing Together would be like the game table. Um, I don't think that's what you're talking about. Um, there's like a, a table table that you play games on. So that's not that one, but um, anyway. Um, let's go up and put this couple bookshelves. Um, You can be a bit more bright colored, I think. Should probably Planet Coaster or Planet Zoo. I've played Planet Zoo a bit. Um, they have uh, the console version of Planet Zoo is coming out soon. And they asked me to do a sponsored stream um, in honor of the console release. So we will play Planet Zoo um, kind of soon on stream, which will be kind of fun. But um, yeah, there I have played Planet Zoo. I don't think that I'm that good at Planet Zoo, but I have played it. And I do like it. It's a cute game. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm the best <laughs> at it. So, you know what? I really like Dan's chair because it's very open on the sides. I'm sitting, you guys, I'm, my legs are up completely on this chair. I'm sitting like crisscross and I'm fine. My legs aren't even touching the armrest. It's nice. I don't like the back of his chair as much as mine though. So I think this is, this is a Logitech Herman Miller chair. 
as well. We didn't buy it. It got given to us. Um, the back's just taller. Nothing's wrong with it. It's just taller. I'm used to having a shorter back to mine. Um, this is a nice chair. I like, I like sitting in it better than I like sitting in mine, I think. Um, but anyway, um, it's not a bad chair. <laughs> it's just different than mine. So I'm not used to having the, you know, I can lean back. Um, I have the Aeron Herman Miller chair, Zika, and this one is the, um, I don't know. It's like the gaming one, this one. We got given this. Um, St. Jude gave it out as a prize for the top 10 fundraisers or something at one point. Um, so we got given this. I think that Logitech like, gave it to St. Jude for them to give away. Um, but I didn't pay for this one. Um, okay. I like that so far, I think. I might try and put... I'm thinking about getting like a bar of some sort to put in the middle. Um, I think, I don't know, I want like, I was thinking about a bar, but it might be a bad idea. I guess if I did that, I could scoot this over just a bit. Do you want to put the bar there? You can use it when it's backwards like this. It might be nice to have. Possibly. I don't think I'm doing the best job at this build today. Um, oh no, listen to this. So when I bought my Herman Miller chair, this was a couple years ago, maybe more than a couple, maybe like four years ago, I don't remember. Um, but when I bought it, I ordered it right online. They're really expensive chairs, okay? It comes in the mail and these chairs, they come fully put together. Like they're just in a giant box. You roll it out of the box. Like they're, it's an enormous box, but they come fully assembled. It's really nice. Well, it gets delivered and there's not one, but there's two enormous boxes on my front porch. And I'm like, I don't see how a one chair can be in these two boxes. Like I, maybe it's packaged like extremely well. I bring one of them in. I open it. It's the full chair the chair just comes out, rolls out of the box. I'm like, okay, this is bad news. I look at the other box. It's addressed to me. They're both addressed to me. I'm like, oh my God, did I buy two by accident? I'm like freaking out. I go check my receipt. No, I only paid for it once. The other box has a whole second one in it. They sent me two completely by accident. I got double, double the order. <laughs> of this really expensive chair. I've never had that happen before in my entire life. Well, I gave it to my mom because I had two of them. So she has one now, really kind of them um, to do that for me <laughs> unintentionally. Um, but so lucky that we got a second one. Like you could have sold that for so much money. It's brand new. Anyway, um, huge that we got that for free. And then like that same, like, you know, month or two later, my mom bought a mini fridge for the garage and it came, she got two of them. Like she, and she just bought it like on Amazon, the mini fridge, but she also got sent to of something, um, which I have, I've never had that happen to me before or after that. But for some weird reason, twice in a couple months, we both got something twice, like an extra one added to you. Um, so I'm not mad. I'll accept it. But like having two mini fridges is kind of annoying because she got the one because it was like small and fit in the space. And then you had two. And then she was like, they told her just to keep it. So now we have two of them, but... Um, didn't they ask for you to give it back? Oh no, they never asked. Oh, well, I didn't tell Herman Miller I got a second chair. <laughs> I didn't tell him I got given a second one. I don't think they would usually ask for it back. I think most times, like if they sent you an extra one, why is it your problem to have to send it back to them? You know? Um, but a little bonus. Um, but yeah, Amazon usually tells you to, to keep it. I think if that happens. Um, yeah, if you got sent to your lips are sealed, right? Like you don't, they don't need to know about that. <laughs> you keep that for yourself. Um, yeah. And the cost to ship it back, right? Like, I mean, they would pay for that. They'd probably pay for the shipping, but if it's, if they're the ones that want it back, but, um, no, I don't think that's your problem. 
Um, for a lot of things that people buy on Amazon, it would definitely maybe be more effort than it's worth. They are willing to take a loss on a lot of things on Amazon, um, which isn't a good thing. But that's their whole business model. Their whole business model is to undercut pricing of uh, other companies and, and close them. Like with bookstores, Amazon sells books at a loss um, because they can. And then they can undercut all of the actual bookstores. So that's why books are so much cheaper on Amazon because they're not, that's not how much they cost. They don't cost that much. They cost more than that. But they're cheaper on Amazon because Amazon can take the loss because they make billions and billions of dollars. Um, did it with diapers too. They undercut the cost of diapers. There was a website called diapers.com that was like where people bought diapers online. Amazon started selling diapers for like way cheaper than that and made diapers.com go out of business and then bought them. And then put the price of diapers back up. <laughs> um, so that's their whole business model is they can um, take losses on certain things because they make so much money elsewhere. Amazon's evil. Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of people buy books on Amazon. It's, uh, it's very common. They are cheaper. Um, but obviously if you can, it's better to support local bookstores. Um, the other thing is that like, you know, when you buy a book, like if you pre-order a book on Amazon and it comes like same day to your house, or maybe even like the day before it might get there early when you pre-order a thing from Amazon. Um, that's because they can just basically like the publishers, um, they have a, you cannot sell this book before this date right um and so uh they like publishers force bookstores to adhere to that if your local bookstore breaks that rule and like ships out your pre-ordered book early they could get fined by them you know the the publisher might say i'm never going to sell you any books anymore <laughs> you can't sell our books anymore amazon find me what are you gonna do not sell your books on amazon there's like they don't they just have to do it so they're able to like send out the books early so your book will get there faster so people don't want to pre-order things from a local bookstore if they're going to have it shipped to them because then it takes longer but they can't send it out early like amazon can amazon can doesn't matter to them they're fine <laughs> um so anyway it's it's kind of upsetting um if you're able to i would really uh, encourage you to try and support local bookstores um but or like you know the library <laughs> Um, your local library is also a fantastic place to get access to books. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it stinks that Amazon is able to do that. It's kind of frustrating. Um, I think, um, try Libby. Yeah, there's a um, library, like if you have Libby, you can basically like rent, uh, like eBooks and stuff on your Kindles and stuff, um, from an app. So it's easy. Um, but always buy your books secondhand off places like thrift books instead of Amazon. That's a great idea. Um, it's, I mean, obviously it's hard sometimes to, um, separate yourself from that because depending on where you live, like you might not have access to a lot of, uh, like in-person local places. And obviously like things are more expensive oftentimes off Amazon, but if you're able to distance yourself from Amazon, um, with like things that are important to you, especially like books are important to me. Bookstores are important to me. I don't really want bookstores to go away. Um, I would like to support a local bookstore um, because I, you know, I want them to be around. <laughs> um, but anyway, it, it does take some like, I guess like some unlearning and some um, active effort on your part to, uh, to do that. Um, but Anyway, um, not everybody has like a local, local bookstore, right? Um, and it's, it's, uh, quite expensive. So not everybody can. That's why the library is a good option too. Um, and thrifted books online, other places that aren't Amazon. Anyway. Um, well, I don't really want to put a TV here anymore. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> Your local bookstore is Barnes and Noble. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people have that experience. There's not a lot of like um, local independent bookstores in Orlando either. Um, so I, I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> um, there is, we do have one um, and I do go there a lot. I know the books are a lot more expensive. Again, that's why I'm trying to say do what you can. Not everybody can, but um, I think. Um, yeah, I personally would pick Barnes and Noble over Amazon any day as well, but, um, you know, 
It's it just sucks the whole situation. Um, I'm saying this as I'm streaming on Twitch owned by Amazon, right? Like, what are you gonna do? It's hard to avoid. Um, okay. Let's see. Put those back. Um, Feisty Jen, thank you for the resubs. Um, how can I play copyright in music? Well, Dan, it's I didn't do this. I'm the wrong person to ask. I'm on my husband's PC in his office, and he has like a his audio is like split track on um, his OBS, so uh, it's not sending the VOD the the music, so it won't stay in the VOD. It'll be the music will be silent, but the, the voice will still be there. Um, don't please don't ask me. I'm I didn't do it. Dan did it on his computer. Um, <laughs> Uh, but you can Google it, and there's probably information out there in, like, tutorials. Um, I don't know how to do it either, because I didn't do it. <laughs> um, unfortunately, I was not the one. Um, so, oh, let me fix this wallpaper. Um, I think there's videos on it that are probably um, easy access. Um, I think it's very easy to do, so... Um, I was thinking about putting some cabinetry in here. I kind of like the idea of there being, like, oh, that's a little bit, uh, bigger than I thought. Um, so, um, Okay. Yeah, and Mel, hopefully you understand where I'm coming from, because I thought that I had said that, but <laughs> hopefully you guys understand where I'm coming from. I'm not sitting here trying to judge people for buying things on Amazon. I was, I, I, ho I hope that I was very clear with my, if you're able to, um, uh, caveat, but uh, in case it wasn't obvious, <laughs> I was trying to be very clear that obviously I understand that not everybody has access to, um, not be able to use Amazon for not just books, for all kinds of things. You know, Amazon is like, sometimes the only option for a lot of stuff depending on where you are um but I, I hope that I was clear with my if you're able to I thought I was trying to say that but um in case I didn't um just so we're safe um they might have been agreeing with me but I don't I don't know just to be careful I don't want anybody to think that I'm like judging them you know that's not my intention um oh maybe I could size this down and like hide it oh that's cool Um, okay. Let's try that. Can I put something on this wall behind it? Um, maybe like, I guess just various decor, huh? I don't know. Maybe like, I'm overthinking this. I have to get off stream in a few minutes too because Dan has to edit the video for today still. Because <laughs> um, he normally would do it while I was live this morning, but I'm on his computer, so I can't be here too late. Um, he's only like half edited today's YouTube video. Um, okay. Let me slot those so I can raise this up myself. Um... Okay. You're scared to ask how long it is? Um, I don't think it's that bad. I hope the video, but I could be wrong. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I'm not sure. I don't like that. This is the last room inside of the house though. What video? Oh, it's, um, it's the first episode of not the first episode but the next episode of my um youtube legacy challenge we're moving into the new house in this video so today is moving day um it'll be kind of fun though um When's it going to be posted? Uh, I post at 3 o'clock Eastern time, so in like three hours, but um, 
hopefully there's enough time for Dan to finish it because I'm still at his desk. <laughs> I am still here, so um, hopefully he'll be able to. Okay, he it will be there, just might be a little bit later. That's what I mean. Um, okay, I think the interior might be done. Let's work on the outside some more then, because I think the interior is probably okay. Um, okay, is Dan still my editor? Yeah, Dan started editing my videos um, a long time ago, back when we uh, were just dating, because um, he graduated college and needed a job or like some, you know, income. And I was in my senior year of college and needed help. <laughs> and he has a film degree. Um, so it, it ended up working out quite nicely. Uh, and then he just never stopped. At first he was just editing like a couple a week for me. Um, so I needed help. And now he edits uh, almost all of them. So, um, yeah, I did it before, before, I did it myself before he did. Um, and then he started helping me and now he does all of it. But I was doing it myself back then. No, we didn't go to the same college. Uh, he's from the UK, so um, we couldn't have gone to colleges that were further apart, actually. <laughs> um, couldn't have been more different, the schools that we went to. Um, yeah, I don't know how I did that. When I look back on that, like how I was, cause I was streaming and in school and making a video every day. I don't know how I did that. I, I mean, I had a lot less, um, free time, I guess, but, um, yeah, it's kind of funny to look back on that, but, um, I was, uh, to be honest, unwell <laughs> mentally and, uh, looking for a distraction though. So that was probably part of it. Um, that's half the reason I streamed so much back then. Um, I was just not doing great. So, <laughs> um, I think that was a, a good thing in the end of the day, but, um, we're doing better now. We're doing better now. Okay. Should I try and put like a patio out here or is that not worth it? I might get a little one. Maybe I'll put like. Um, I think, oh, the cover is like weird and transparent. I'll skip it. So it doesn't do that anymore. I don't want blank space. Hmm. We can play this one. Might be our last song, so we'll, we'll let this one be on for now. Okay. I might do something like that. Put this here. Cute. Blank space hater. I'm not a blank space hater. I just didn't want it right now. You know? Yeah, I like to have monkey bars in my Sims yards, but I also don't actually have my Sims play on it very much. Um, it's useful to have, like, kids' playground equipment, though, isn't it? Um, uh, Alicia, Dan's actual desk setup is pretty similar to what mine looks like. Um, his, his PC is quite similar to mine and his desk is kind of like laid out similar to mine. Um, so it doesn't feel that weird. He uses a different mouse and keyboard than I do. So that kind of like throws me and takes some getting used to, I guess, but, um, it's not that big of a deal. No, I didn't log into Origin from his PC. He has most of the Sims packs, so I'm just on his EA account right now. I'm just on his, um, okay. This isn't my best build, but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine enough. <laughs> Let me get a pretty little, I guess we could do the yellow again. I like the yellow accents. You think she's very pretty? Okay, I'm glad that you think so. I'll get us a grill. I'll probably put a trash can like over here um, and that might be good. Do you think having a good mouse makes playing The Sims easier or a better experience? Um, I mean, I think just in general, having a, a mouse that you like and you think is good is helpful just for like 
any sort of gaming <laughs> that you might do. Um, it's nice to have a mouse that is comfortable and good. You don't need like a really good mouse to play The Sims though. Um, like you don't need like an expensive one, I guess. Um, they make some expensive mouses, um, but you, you know, you can experiment with what is like better for you and what you prefer. Did we hide a duck in every room? No, but I should. I'm giving major gamer girl vibes right now. Why? Because of my room. <laughs> we got gamer girl energy, don't we? Um, I did bring my headphones too, because I don't want to use Dan's headphones. Dan has these. These. I don't like them. So I didn't want to use them. So. And I have a pink headphone cord and mine's better than his. He doesn't have a pink headphone cord like me. Um. Uh, almost done. Just get a couple little more bits. And then people said hide a duck in every room. That was kind of an iconic concept. I might go do that too. Um, where could I put? Oh, please stop slotting all around there. Okay. I'm going to put the duck like in this. Okay. Almost done. That's that duck. That has a lot of slots, doesn't it? <laughs> um, it might be cute if we got a duck like in here. I don't like it there, though, never mind. Maybe it would be better if I put it oh, over here. Okay. Sorry about all the slotting, everybody. It's very annoying. All right. I shall raise my duck up. Okay. So that's that shelf done. And then maybe someone in the kitchen too? Oh, is there even enough space for it in the kitchen? Oh, you know what I could probably do? This might be kind of good. I could put it in there. Wait, move. I'm gonna put it on the shelf because there's like open shelving in the cabinets. That's fun, okay. And then in this bedroom, honestly, just like on the desk is probably fine. Oh, I, <laughs> I have a giant one, Never mind. Um, just on the desk in there is probably fine. And then the bathroom has one. So that's everywhere except the dining room. I don't like how that slots. So, where do you go? Oh, there's ads playing. I'm sorry, chat, that's annoying. That's good. Okay, I think it might be done. <laughs> it turned out kind of nice. I like it. Oh, we were gonna put ceiling paint too, weren't we? Okay, last thing, actual last thing. Might just get some like wood paneling. I kind of like the vibes of that. See? Yeah. Okay, well, let me go put it on the gallery. Um, This is gonna be on Dan's gallery. Um, Lil Simsy built this. I'm Lil Simsy, but I built this on Dan's computer. Ha <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> I tried to put a hashtag, but he has a British layout on his keyboard! There's a- there is a hashtag on the keyboard! It's the pound sign! Oh my god, how do you get a hashtag on a- Wait, how do you do it? How do you do it? How do I do it without- Help! Can someone just put one in the chat so I can copy-paste it? <laughs> I hate- it's an American keyboard, but he's using a British layout. Thank you. <laughs> so it looks like it's gonna be the, the right symbol, but it's not. Um, that's so weird. I was just- because I was pressing the right button, but it was giving me the... Yuck. Pound sign. Um, <laughs> and meanwhile, you need to calm down, Kayla. 
<laughs> Stop yelling. <laughs> okay, three bedrooms, one bathroom. Um, yeah, I'll just upload it. We'll just call it done. Um, all right, upload. Upload, upload. All right, it's there if you want it. <laughs> Next to the enter key. Yeah, but hold on. Let me. No, not that one. Yeah, look at this. The at symbol is on the apostrophe. That's so weird. The British keyboards have like a different shaped enter key. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Um, if he's going to do this, he should just buy a British keyboard. Um, okay, look. This is an American keyboard, but he's told this computer it's British. That's what I'm complaining about. Um, look. So, the British keyboards, um, I, there isn't a, there isn't this button. Because the enter key, is, it's like the shift key, it's weird. Or the enter key is bigger than that on ours. But that's why it like kind of throws off stuff. <laughs> There's a couple things that are weird. Um, why is the US enter so small? Your why is yours so tall? It's so weird that it's so tall. I really don't like it. When I use Dan's laptop, I like always I have the hardest time typing on it because I keep pressing enter in like the wrong place. It's I like I try and press enter and it doesn't hit the right key. Um but anyway, that's so the the issue is that this is an American keyboard, but he's using a British layout. So when I pressed three, it gave me a pound sign, <laughs> um, which I wasn't expecting. I guess it makes sense that he does that. But I wasn't expecting it. So anyway, <laughs> Queen of Moves, wireless, Alyssa, thank you for the sub. I'd be appalled to the Italian layout. I probably would. They're ah! oh my god. Okay, I'll just end stream from here then. Um, I was gonna get off stream here in a minute anyway, so I'll just leave it. Um, <laughs> let me go see you all's live. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so I'll be, uh, tomorrow I'll be live from my normal room. I'll just be in my regular office. The reason I'm here right now is because there's people working on the AC right now in my office. Um, they're like in the closet in there working on it, so I can't be in there. Um, so I was live from Dan's computer. But we will go over and maybe find a friend to raid um, who's playing The Sims. <laughs> if we stay on this for long enough, then the VOD will have this as the thumbnail. So that's fun. Um, my friend Lucy is live. She says, the title says starting not so very. And I'm kind of into that idea. I think I rated her recently, but I'll do it again. It's fine. <laughs> Um, have a wonderful rest of your day, everybody. I'll update you on how the AC situation goes. Um, thanks for putting up with me being in Dan's office. I know it's kind of weird, but it's been fun. Um, and I look really good right now, and I'll catch you all tomorrow. <laughs> okay.